Happy Sunday, guys. Welcome to the Collector's Table Live. Uh, how's everybody feeling today? I hope everybody's having a good uh, Sunday so far. Kevin, how you doing, my man? Doing well, man. Last week was great. Had a full view of the eclipse on Monday. That was so Oh, yeah. Cool. So your eyes are still good? You didn't stare yeah. at it without your glasses? <laughs> didn't get turned to dust or anything like that? No apocalypse hit? So we good. Yeah. We good. So, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, I was uh, I was watching it from work. Um, I saw the photos that you sent us. You sent us some really, really cool photos, uh, but it, it was a little cloudy where I was at. So I wasn't able to quite get a really good shot, but it was good enough to be at work. I got a quick nerd question. Yeah, go ahead, man. With Cyclops' ruby quartz lenses, do you think he could look at an eclipse safely? Yes. Well, since I was looking at one through my phone, yeah, I think you're good. Okay. <laughs> I, I I bet that his technology and that little uh, visor is a lot better than anything we got. So yeah, well, I'm they gonna... also have uh, access to Shi'ar technology, right? So I'm sure it is. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, I, I, I have to fess up, guys. This week I did something I didn't think I was going to do. I actually pulled the trigger on that new sideshow Wolverine, even though I already have a nice representation of Wolverine nice. in my collection. I was like. Damn, it's too good looking. I have to pull the trigger. Oh, I think it's awesome. So, I love that piece. I, yeah. I really like that piece. It was just a little bigger than what I wanted. So I, I like That's the one third. Huh? It's actually, it's it's in between one third and one in 2.5. If you actually go by Wolverine being five foot three and then take it into the, the scale. He's yeah. in between one third and 2.5. And that's why Sideshow says it's like a non-scale because they don't technically, I think, have a Marvel license for one third. Mm -hmm. So they just made him like one third and then maybe an inch and a half taller or something but with a hunch. It's kind of hard to tell because he's hunched, but. Yeah, I, I really like the pose and everything. I think that thing looks great. It's a little bit different than what uh, Sideshow usually does too. So I thought that was cool. But well, well, maybe we'll do a line. live unboxing or something when it comes in. Hell yeah. I really want to get that piece to pair with my LBS Hulk, but like I said, it's on a pedestal, so I don't know how I would do oh, that. I would make it work. That when you brought that up, I thought that was the greatest idea. I, I know, but I 100%. I literally can't make it work. Like I'm I'm looking around. I don't like unless I build a pedestal that's five feet tall and just really you know a foot by a foot and put Wolverine on top of it and face him off with Hulk. Like, that's going to look dumb. Yeah, I just no, can't I get fit it. it. So. I wish I, I could. Do I would buy it. Gilbert's got it for a great price. It's a great. Oh, he gets great prices, man. He does. I see yeah, some of his prices, price and the, 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 way, the way he kills it is it's shipped. Like he'll he'll give you a price ship. Like I'm like that's what I love. You don't have to worry about okay, I'll pay this off, and then in six months from now I'll get hit with a four hundred dollars shipping charge. It's it's in. It's everything. Once that's paid off, that's paid off. I yeah. like it. No hidden fees. Unlike you know car salesmen or shit like that. Ah, we'll get to your car sale. For shady. Um, car sale. <laughs> Just so you guys know, uh, Shane bought a car for me. He came all the way down from Canada. I'll show you the picture. Um, yeah, anyway. all about me to buy lemons. We don't have any in Canada. <laughs> uh, let's say what's up to the guys and uh, show our love to the community. I appreciate everybody being here. Uh, who do we got here? Jonas, my man. Great Sunday, fellas. I myself is enjoying the quarter scale cartoon TMT line from PCS from uh, the one third and the one third. Oh, nice. Oh yeah. That April mm -hmm. O'Neil is gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Someone had a picture of like all the, I think I saw it on uh, Toy Quest 101. They put all the turtles uh, together, that whole line, because uh, Ant was over there talking yeah. about it, talking about a lot of different things, but it looked really cool, especially when they're all together. Speaking of nice, nice guy, what's going on? My favorite guy right there. K Fett saying, what's up? You got Jonas again. Alan Kiefer, what's up, everyone? Who else we got in here? Ledge. Happy Sunday, guys. God bless. Hope everyone up, is doing well. Back at you, Ledge. Just so you guys know, Ledge uh, got his tickets yesterday. He'll be coming to uh, StatueCon in July. Yeah, that's awesome. Congrats, yeah. Ledge. 
Yeah. So if you guys don't all know, all three of us will be at StatueCon. We've we've uh, coordinated. There was a lot of planning that went into it, uh, mostly with, between Kevin and, and Shane. I know they were trying to be there at the same time. So we're going to all be there at the same time. I think it's going to be awesome, man. It's going to be the first time we all met each other. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be great. Lots of cherries popping. A lot Electric of cherries popping. Orgy coming up. That's right. We all got <laughs> one room and one bed. We're really all close right. to you guys. <laughs> we're well, all, all of our subscribers just dropped off. I don't know what's going on. Plus, you guys got to remember, Adam was in the Navy, so he's used to that. Oh, my God. He said I was in the Navy. <laughs> with the Army. All right. Uh, Mr. Kennedy, what's going on? How you doing? That's in the bell free. Hey, nice hey. to see you again. Who else we got in here? Nice guy. We already said, what's up to JoJo? What's good all? What's good, JoJo? Vibranium Jim, what's up? What's up nice to see you again. What did he say here? I peeled the new Sideshow Batman. I know cool. people don't like it, but I do. And that's all that matters, my man. As long as you yeah. like it, Vibranium, nothing else matters. I'm I'm personally not a fan of it. It's not my style, but good for you, man. As long yeah. as you like it, Yeah, as long as you I like it. Slifer, what's up, man? Uh, who else we got in here? Facebook user, yo, yo, I'm drinking early at my soccer club. Just saying, what's up, boys? What's up, buddy? How you doing? And I like where your head's at. Yeah. Good man. Mitch, passing hey. through. My man, Mitch, you can pass through anytime. Anytime. Another guy that we see here on occasion, Knight. What's going on, Knight? How you doing? Thanks for joining. My man, Jesse Hernandez, up in the building. Jesse. Who else we got here? Dinesh. Dinesh, nice to see you again, man. He's been a regular lately. Yeah, Dinesh. Yeah. Good guy. Good guy. Who else we got in here? Deflex. What's up, all? What's I haven't seen Deflex in a while. Yeah. What's going on, man? Anyways, I think that was everybody. I don't think I missed anybody, but uh, thank you all for being here. So let's talk about... Uh, we're going to talk about a couple things today. We're going to talk about... Well, I wanted to mention the Fallout show. I don't know. So have you guys watched the Fallout show yet? Uh, no, I'm going to be starting it this week. Uh, did you ever play the games? Did Love the game. Um, I oh, played dude. like a, I played a couple times at my buddy's house. I never got into it, but mm -hmm. so basically, no. Technically, yes. <laughs> For like a, a half an hour or something. So. Oh man, I played the very first one on PC when you looked overhead and you had to yeah. take a couple steps at a time. Uh, it was turn-based. I loved it. Did you Did you play that one too, Kev? Yep, yep, yep. I, I, I was trying to remember when that when that came out. Was it like two thousand five, oh, was, six? No, that's no, exactly right. what I was thinking. Somewhere in there, yeah. I think it was before that. You're Early talking about the first thousand. Well. I am turning 45 this week, so I'm, my memory is starting to get fuzzy. No, no, no. I, no. I, think it's, I think it's before that, man. I think it's before that. I, I played it, I want to say it was probably the late late 90s on PC, but I could be totally wrong. Uh, if anybody knows, knows. Yeah. yeah. If anybody knows, drop a line in the chat. Um, yeah, so we're going to be talking about a little uh, bit. Yeah, I know. October 10th, 1997. Adam was actually right. Oh, there you go. Okay. So, oh, it was the year Adam was born, so excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish. I'll actually be 39 in July. So you, you guys will see me a couple days after my birthday. So my, my birthday is July 8th. So you're a millennial. I know, man. I know. I When I found out that it went back to 1985, like I was the start of the millennial. Uh, actually, 1981 is the start. I oh, is it? I thought it was yeah. 85. I, I, I was it's 81. I was kind of pissed about that. I was like, and oh. not everyone could be a Gen X. <laughs> okay. We even have the coolest name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, they got the cool symbol too. What do I do? We do that all fucking statue. What, do, what do I do? I don't know. Yeah, um, we hum the X-Men opening song too. I mean, just go with it. <laughs> uh, so we'll talk about a little bit about the Fallout show. We're going to talk about, we're going to share some pictures of what people shared in a Facebook group. Uh, we got two topics to talk about. We're also going to be talking about what to expect from the Prime One Showcase that's coming up here shortly. And then we're also going to be discussing the top three lines for you guys thus far. It could be, I don't think we put a time frame on it. It doesn't have to be this year or whatever. Just the top three lines that you like so far. 
And then we're going to go through our usual uh, picks and news and that kind of stuff. AJ right. said those generational timelines aren't always correct except for us Gen X. Yeah. Yeah. You know what, AK? Jonathan, what's up, man? Thanks for joining. Uh, McFly, what's going on, buddy? All right. So let's move on. Let me share the screen real quick. And uh, yeah, so I watched the first episode of this. And like I said, I was a big, big fan of Fallout. Played the original, played all all the games. I, I didn't beat them all, but I, I I loved it. I just never had time to beat anything, really. And uh, the first episode, I'm, I'm not going to do any spoilers because I know some of you guys want to watch it. But I would say it is well, well worth the watch for sure. So if you're thinking about it. Yeah, I heard it was good for my buddies. I'm gonna, if I can't you're wait thinking to watch about it. it, yeah. It's basically a timeline of it's it obviously Vault 33, what's set on her back. And um, they kind of explain how she leaves the, the vault, and it was kind of fucked up. That's all I'll say. Now, just like the game, does it show how she got into the vault? Does it go back that early or not? Or just when she's leaving the vault? They might. I don't think it mentioned it in the first episode. Uh, okay. Actually, no. No, no, no. It did. Okay. It did. 100%. Okay. And actually, it was a really cool... It was in the beginning. It was a really cool scene. But, I mean, if you played the Fallout game, you know how they all get in the vault. Yeah, I mean, you know exactly. Happens. Yeah. So, anyway, go check it out, guys. It's a good watch. What's you it know, on? I, I, saw, I saw the preview for that show, and the first thing I thought when I saw it, I'm like, this would be awesome to watch high. <laughs> With I, all yeah. the effects and everything, it looked sick. Yeah, yeah. I, it... It, it was all right uh i think it's on it's on prime i got prime, prime. video <clears throat> all right prime video so check that out all right next i'm gonna share a little bit of love from my guys up in the uh in the facebook group oh my hey name, adam Pfeiffer? what's up real quick you had gotham cinnabite have one question about it is the whole yeah, series live or just a few episodes right now they released the whole season didn't they i think here i'll, I'll look at it right now I believe they released the whole season. Hernandez thinks it's the whole series. I thought it was, but I, I don't know. Yeah, I think they did the whole series, so yeah, they did the whole they did the whole season. All right. There's eight the episodes. Season. Eight episodes. Nice. So you can you can binge watch that for mm -hmm. sure. All right, guys. So I wanted to show a little bit of love uh, for the guys in the Facebook group for sharing some of their collection. And I, and I just love seeing other people's collections too. <clears throat> but uh, I don't know who this character is. I know it's from Prime 1, because I think I've seen it from Prime 1. I think, right? Mm. I don't know. But the anime king, one of the anime kings. No, Sliver. the true anime god emperor. Sliver. Oh, man. Not that uh, false prophet buck fangs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the cool statue. Don't know the character, but I don't need to know him to appreciate it. So I appreciate him sharing that with us. Then we got my man Rashid was throwing some stuff in here too. I actually own this piece. This is I love that piece. piece. It's yeah. still a great representation. Oh, nice, and simple. I, I like it. They did a good job with it. Such a great piece. I like this. The okay. likeness isn't, isn't perfect, but you know, for what, 600, 700 bucks? It's not yeah. like it's 3,000 bucks. So, okay, for so this was bucks, close enough. Fist of the North Star. Yep. Nice. Got it. Thanks, Life. Kind of looks like, uh, go back to him for a sec. That, yeah, that it kind of looks like a, a Thor, Thor looking character. Is that Beach? <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. We got somebody here. Damn. Anyone gets into this show nowadays. Look at this. Oh, you got to move slow because it's it's chopping around a little bit. Uh, but where are oh, you it's at? choppy. Yeah, are you at the, at the? I'm at, I'm in Thailand waiting for art. Art, get ready, man. Yeah, art, <laughs> no, I'm, at, I'm in Top Sail Beach at the at the little house over here. Oh uh, well, this is not the beach here. This is just like a canal, but the beach is like on the other side. So wait, where so is we're the about to, Top Sail, Top Sail, mm -hmm. North Carolina. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, so okay. this uh, scoreboard moment was sponsored by Crippler. 
Hey, do you look all happy and shit being out there? And I know. <laughs> I've never seen it's, more happy. <laughs> it's so peaceful and just sort of like, ah. Uh, but I was trying to figure out if I could bring one statue just to have like over there with me. I'm like, damn, that, that would have been perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would have been perfect if I'd just been able to find one. Oh yeah, Shane. I I was like, oh man, I forgot. Cause this was impromptu. My wife was like, let's just drive down there because it's nice. And I was like, all right. And I was like, oh shoot, I think we're supposed to spread democracy tonight. Oh. Uh uh. Uh uh. What up, Mr. Kennedy? <laughs> I might guys, still uh, could do it. I might still could do it because I got the steam deck. I oh, I tomorrow, might, uh, yeah. Or I might be able to do it, so just let me know. Tomorrow, yeah, are you good tomorrow? We'll we'll say tomorrow right. at like eight or nine PM Eastern. Uh I work until like I work until like eight tomorrow, so probably not tomorrow, but tonight I might be able to. Okay. I, I, I do have my Steam Deck, so and I have the game. I installed it on there just in case. I just don't know how it's gonna perform. So we could try it, because we should be definitely back by then. My so man, Griff, I didn't know you were ready to play. <laughs> Dude, I've been wanting to play since the last time. Just things have coming up. It was so much fun. I know yeah. it's been three weeks. Yeah, it's been I a while. Know. I haven't played. I don't think I've played since I played with you guys last. So, but Dang, we'll figure yo, it out. What statue am I looking at? This is this is Slifer's uh, North Star. <laughs> Something to the North Star. Oh, he's that's right. He's been getting into the North Star stuff. Yeah, looks good. That's the. So we're just going through a couple things. Feel free to hang out, man. I know if you got to jump out because you're on vacay, you can. Any, anytime. Yeah, yeah, I can hang out for a bit. Once they're ready, they're all getting ready and they just yeah, yeah. got done eating. So then I'll just hop off. But I was like, hey, what better way is to wait for them to get ready than to just hang out with you guys? So. That's right. Completely concur. Hey, so this piece, <laughs> that up, right hey, here, this is actually, it actually comes in a very small box. So if you were thinking about getting this, the shipping is really cheap. It's not a bad price statue, and it looks really nice. It looks That's really so good. good. Mixed media. Uh, it's got a little. You'd bit almost think it's Wednesday. Us talk about how small Ahsoka's box is. <laughs> you know. All right, so. Has been... <laughs> I was like, what? Um, <laughs> all right, so we got Ledge here. I think this is Ledge's collection, right? This is Ledge with his uh, Superman. Doomsday, Lady Death, and Thanos. This is a nice, I love this, like, boxed in with the lights yeah, and everything. Good. See the lights up there? And yeah. that is a big box, because that's, yeah. like, that That uh, Lady Death is big, but that Let's Superman see. Doomsday is big. So you, you can't tell by looking at it, but that thing's huge. Yeah, I think I got a, I think I might have a picture of a zoom out, but I'm not sure. But anyway, war tanks, war tanks, huge. And look at that, look at it in the box on the other yeah. picture. Like those are big. Yeah. Was this all part of Ledge's initial custom cases that he built? Because that was really I impressive. So. I loved watching those get constructed. I agree. Yeah, him and Vision, they they do great jobs building their shit. I wish I was good with my hands like that. I can't build Me too. shit. I can't build anything. I'm just like, how much? Just build it for me because I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> just take my money and make it look nice. Take my money, exactly. That's I know what I do too. I'm like, I'll pay you and make it look good. Yeah, just make it. The end result needs to look good. But Although, good I'll, I'll be honest, these garage shelves, I put those up myself. I didn't hire anyone, so it turned out pretty good. <laughs> Quite the pioneer. <laughs> Quite the pioneer. No tools required even. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Got all these oh. screws laying around. I don't know what they went to. That's my favorite type of setup. When I see no tools required, I'm like, I think I got this. Look at this. He's got the yeah. uh, he's got this Hulk on the riser. This is a custom Hulk right here. That's that new Hulk that it's got a swap out torso that makes him cyborg. It's so vibrant. I like that. I, I I had to hit him up. I really really like how that Hulk pairs with the war tank, and I there's love how someone, he has the war machine. There's uh, someone uh, selling that Hulk uh, in in uh, Canada here in Alberta. There's someone selling it. He just got it. He's selling it for I think it's about. 2k but that's american or that's canadian i mean so probably about 15 1600 um, uh american he's selling it it's brand new mm. that's the that's that's uh, i like that i think that would look yeah. great in your in your setup uh it's really nice is the color contrast you got the grays in that and the steel grays on war tank and war machine mm -hmm. and then you have the vibrant green and purple on the hulk looks great good contrast yeah, yeah it's yeah. really good this has got to look crazy in real life. I haven't seen it in real life yet. This thing. Oh, man. Well, thank you. Yeah. I want to see it. Yeah. 
All right. What's up, Donald? What up, Donald? So this is a really cool picture. I like how he did this picture. This is, uh, I think this is the nice guy, Kevin He. This nice is and nice. Up. Oh, yeah, that's his government me. name? I always wondered who nice guy was. He's always messing with, hanging out. Yeah. Yeah, this is a that's nice dope. picture. I like how he's got the symbiote mix in the back. Mm-hmm. Looks real nice. Good lighting. Awesome lighting, actually. What's up, Alan? And then this I'm, is my I'm, man, Will. Everybody knows Will up in the in the chat. Oh, yeah. He's got, uh, he shared some pictures up in the Facebook group, too. This really looks like it's out of the cartoon. Like, this style. I, I was about yeah. to comment on that. I love that look of that. that I'm is- not a big fan of cell shading, but I like it most on Transformer pieces. I, I'd still pick the normal coloring, like XM and that, but yeah. out of all cell shading, I like it on Transformers the most. I think it looks cool with that, like, shine and gleam it always has. It looks, yeah. It almost looks like it's fake, like it's like it's cropped it in there. It, and it's it looks not. like someone, yeah, exactly. They uh, overlaid a, a Photoshop cartoon picture yeah. in there. That's what's so cool like, about them. You got this one right here. It looks like you know it's a regular statue, but this is just like it looks like it's just in right out of the cartoon. Right from the cartoon. Yeah, yeah. Man, I remember good. looking at those. Are, those are PCS, right? This yeah. is PCS, I think. Yeah. yeah. I remember looking at those PCS Transformers before you know, XM and was like, man, I will make a whole like Cybertron style backdrop and like just have it all look like an animated shelf. Like they were on the set of a cartoon. Yeah. That's how good they look. Stop making them. Uh, mm-hmm. that says, Ant said it was more expensive to make that paint. Yeah, I do remember him saying that cell shading is more expensive. Also on some shelf uh, cell shading pieces, I was told it's not paint, and I'm not saying necessarily for these statues, but on some, it's not paint, it's stickers. Some Someone told oh, me yeah, yeah. No shades. I didn't know that, they said because I thought about getting it um, repainted one day, I was going to get that, that kind mm-hmm. of statue, and they're like, yeah, it's got stickers, it, it probably won't paint over easy. I'm like, oh, I... Uh, I really yeah, stickers is a no-no. <laughs> yeah. don't, put no, don't put no stickers on my statue. <laughs> I, I'm feeling this too. Yeah, I don't like figures at all in any of my shit. But uh, you got the City Hunter mask right here, biomass. And then you the got the uh, Berserker monster. Predator skele- uh, skulls right there. That looks pretty cool. Oh, and this was my pickup. I just picked this up. Oh, you picked up Amalgus. Yeah, That's welcome it. to the dark side, baby. Oh, yeah. Malik. I'm at Malik. Oh, Malik, Malik, Malik. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think Malik I'm getting, I, Shane's got me with this in fascination and he doesn't even try. I just like look at his collection and I saw, actually I saw Kevin's too and how they line up all their dark side characters. And I'm just like, oh my God, it looks so good. I want to do it too. It's the only kind you should have. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't really, I, a lot of people were telling me, hey, get the Revan, get the Revan that matches up with it. I just don't feel that Revan, man. I don't like that Revan as much. I think it's nice. I think it's cool. I, I like it to a degree, but not enough to buy it. You but know I what, really Adam? Like, I really like this Mallet. You know That's what, Adam? interesting because – oh, go ahead, Grip. Oh, no, no. My friend Starchow, he got the Revan, and he didn't really like the Malik at first. And then eventually he was like, I just want to get him the pair, and he fell in love with the Malik too. So it might, might be a thing that – if you see them together, it really, really pops. But me, sure, is the, I'm the opposite. I love that Reverend so much. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, but the Malik looks so cool too. But yeah. Reverend is just such a really, really. I, I was really going to say, majority of people prefer the Reverend over the Malik. Like the vast majority. I, I like both. But if I had to pick, I like the, the Reverend better. You said the mass majority likes which one? Reverend. Revan oh, really? Yeah. yeah, like Revan sold better and people like him better. But I I still like him. Mm-hmm. I just think the Revan, I don't know, it's something about the Revan, it, they look cool together. So I got them together. But. Yeah. And then we got, uh, this is, remind me of the name of this Batman. It's like, as, uh, it's, what's the name? Uh, of Nightfall Asriel? Batman. Is it Nightfall Batman? Isn't Nightfall, it like Asriel? Yeah. Or, oh no this is nightfall that's right nightfall, that's yeah. nightfall yeah. batman yeah nightfall batman so that's this is uh rashid. Shared, shared from rashid yeah mm-hmm. looks good it's so funny this piece is so hard to get and sells for so much and two years ago there was a guy in canada selling one for fucking 900 dollars canadian he couldn't oh sell my it. goodness he for months. 
Look at those prints. Now, now everyone wants it. Holy <laughs> shit. So this is also the nice guy. Uh, and this is all his prints. He just hung these up, and I wanted to share it. It looks so good. It looks Love so it. Good. A lot of cool stuff up here. I don't know if a lot of this is original art or what, but... I was going to ask, since Nice Guy's in the channel, uh, anything signed? Did you get any of the original artists to sign this stuff? Because that looks great. I'm yeah. seeing a lot of good Spider-Man. Nice Guy got great taste. Damn right. A lot of good stuff. Oh, that's a cool one right there, too. Yep. And, and look what channel he's got up. Look, it was almost like he yeah. knew his audience. Yeah. Man, look at this guy. <laughs> I love the product placement. <laughs> love it. Which love channel it, love is that? I can't see it because of my small phone. <laughs> <laughs> That's it's called me. the collector's table. Have you heard yeah. of it? Yeah. Collector's yeah, table with just yeah. Adam's feet on there. <laughs> Which is That's how it is on Sundays. It's all matters. Yep. <laughs> you know, we should get a picture of all three of us. The male has like all of us and Adam's has a big fucking Adam and that's it. <laughs> that's just because I was too lazy to change my logo. So I need to change it. <laughs> All right, yeah, so that's what we're gonna share for right now. We're gonna go straight into the topics and we'll actually start with Crip because I know oh, he's a little pressed for time. He's on the vacay. So Crip. What's up? What are your three top statue lines thus far? This is so hard for me. I have six uh -oh. that I love. Did oh, that was quick. Oh, that was convenient. <laughs> He that was phased convenient. out. Did he just hit the end? You guys are putting me on the spot. <laughs> All right. So we'll let him unfreeze himself. He might have to leave and come back. But we will continue with – we'll take him out for now just until he unfreezes and we can add him back in. Uh, Kevin. Oh, okay. Um, what are your yeah, top three statue lines thus far? And then in the chat, I want to hear – what the chat's got to say too, because we're going to share that too. But go ahead, Kev. You got the floor. I was going to say, hands down, Prime One XM, and then as a Star Wars fan, my outlier is uh, Regal Robot. Um, I love what Tom Spina and his crew do. They are very pricey, but they have very unique statue pieces, and they're just some of the most prized pieces I have in my collection is from those guys. So thankfully, they don't do a lot too often because it is very expensive. So. Kev, are you picking companies or are you picking a line? Yeah, what would be the... Oh, I'm like sorry. I, mean, I, I didn't understand that. I Okay, oh, no, I take you're that fine. back. I was like picking companies. I was like, oh, yeah, Wait, these are three up, companies. Kevin. Yeah. You know what Adam's going to do to you. Wake up. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, oh, geez, what happened? <laughs> you're bringing this shit down on us. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> three lines. Okay, that's... that's that's um Yeah, I can back that up real quick. So I love hey, uh, what Sideshow's doing with, X uh, with the X-Men. Still love a lot of those pieces. Definitely XM's uh, Transformers. And then I've got to give a, a shout out to Ant. I love PCS's uh, Ninja Turtles. Those are three of my favorite lines right now. Okay. Yeah. There you go. The Turtles was a good pick. Turtles was a good pick. I'm looking forward to seeing the the Krang and a lot of the other. Bebop and Rocksteady, I really can't wait to see those. Uh, eventually, I know he'll, he'll do those. But uh, what about you, Shane? So this was tough for me. Um... XM Transformers, uh, XM, oh, you know what? I'll let, it's a trip has limited time before he decides to leave again. And apparently okay. bandwidth. Yeah, I, try, I, I moved closer to the house. Let me know if this is better. Because... <laughs> <laughs> no, you're fine, man. Go ahead. You're okay. All right, so it was, what are your top three statues? Statue Line. lines thus far. Ooh. Line. Transformers okay, number know. one. XM Transformers. XM Transformers number one. Um, I think Tweeter Head's more consistent than XM's uh, X Men line. I like X. I love XM's X Men line, but they're not as consistent as Tweeter Head's Masters of the Universe line. Okay. I really, really like that line. Yeah. Um, that Master of the Universe line is really good. Yep. Yeah, it's one of the most consistent lines mm -hmm. like out there. Like, uh, like I'm not going out of my favorites, just ones that like consistent. You can to get any one of those things, yeah. and it's oh, always man. like a banger. Yeah. Um, number three, prime. Is it prime's metal line? Is probably 
it's really, oh, really good, good as well. That's a good. That's a really good line too. Oh, I, I don't know much of the story, but they got a ton of yeah. features, and they went deep into that line, so they must have done really, 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 really well. Yeah, yeah, they're just really beautiful, dark, beautiful, brooding pieces. I like dark shit. That's why I like Spawn so much. Oh uh, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Crippling me something is AOL. <laughs> you ain't he's lying. Got, he's got one of those trial trial CDs that you used to get from Walmart for seven days. I want the CD on it. It's like, doo, doo, doo. <laughs> I, I, and this is me just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that will be like the most consistent lines that if I had to just go all in on a line, I know that each piece will be, there will be very little weak links in the, in the chain. Yeah. 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 What's up, Piggy? Solid picks. And up, honorable message to um, Ninja Turtles. PCS Ninja Turtles is really yeah, good. A lot of people too. are picking. I, I have a feeling a lot of people are going to pick the Turtles line. Yeah. Yeah, reason, that's, a, that's a really good line. The reason good I line. didn't pick the Turtle line in my top three, and I was going to because I think they're fantastic, I've mm -hmm. only seen three pieces so far. So it's hard to, with all the other good lines that have like five, ten pieces, it's hard to yeah. judge a line on three, although they're off to a big banging start. So. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's okay. I mean, that's why it says, you know, that's why it is so far. Do you, I mean, Absolutely. if you like it, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you like it, but what would be your Shane? What would be your, like, let's start with your top. All right. XM transformers. Woo, and what is that? Then um, in no particular order for number two and three, I'm going to go with uh tweeter head master of the universe line. <laughs> and the third one is what's tough. Ultimately I'm going to probably go with XM Spider-Man line Ooh, all the villains mm, oh yeah. right but an honorable mention to prime one lord of the rings one quarter scale line that line Ooh. is phenomenal. lord of the rings does a good pick yeah they, that, they that was a good a lot of lines yeah and the pick. other line uh that it was a debate between was the um shit no i lost it <laughs> who does that come to me? i can't remember but the the prime one uh lord of the rings line was up there i'm i wasn't sure which one i would want to pick but ultimately, I'm a bigger Spider-Man fan, and they have a lot of great pieces, and I own a bunch of the statues. So now, didn't you just Thanos snap Spider-Man like earlier this week? Oh, talk to him, Case yeah. Fat. Yes, I thought you we're did. About favorite line. I still am a little bit bigger of an X-Men fan than I am Spider-Man. Okay, fan. okay. <laughs> XM didn't kill their mm -hmm. X-Men line. I think some of them are good, and some of the sideshow are good, and they are paired together. Uh, but this Spider Man this line full of shit, shit moment has been sponsored by Pizza. When you get Spider Man on your, your pants like this, look at that. Oh my god, damn. Look at that on the Megatron. Yeah, look at this. Look at Ant Man. And yeah. yeah. Uh, let's, who's see where, who's, let's see what's near the crotch. Who's in the crotch? <laughs> who's in the crotch there? <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no, that ain't no Hobbit book character right there. Everybody got close to their cameras. <laughs> My All wife right, just so. reminded me. She was like, "Are you gonna put pants on? We're about to." Have to I was like, oh, that's right. I'm no, still in my. I always see you in your pajamas when you're at home, even when you're on vacation. I see you in your pajamas. <laughs> at the beach and he's in pajama pants. Yeah. <laughs> you're one I of those know. people that I see at Walmart in pajama pants all the time. No. They're not pajama even pants and sandals. They're not even the adult ones. They're like the little kid no. ones. Right? <laughs> I don't have regular clothes. <laughs> yeah, if I work from home too, I'd be this in my underwear all day. You from home. You don't yes. like clothes. <laughs> you just, like, you just wake up in pajamas and stay in pajamas. Yeah. I forgot what a belt felt like. <laughs> like, All like right, so let me, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on and share my top. Do it. Check just out. before you do, Adam, I I remember my other honorable mention. Okay. XM Samurai line. Nice. Oh, line. that's a very consistent line. Right? Line it, I know. I know they got some really good ones, but. I could see myself switching my third out. Like, that's a really high honorable mention. I, I but know. Yeah. It's same for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Here, let me pull this. Actually, I got a picture of mine. Ooh. Just fucking AK. You get him. AK is the attack. <laughs> I love it. Come Don't on, man. Get you know, the, the Terminator line has got to be number one for me. Oh. The, the one statue they got. Yeah. The one? Are you sure? <laughs> they got more. 
They do, they in got hand? Uh, they got two. There, there you go. How many are in hand though right now? And they got three. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't realize three were in hand. So yeah, I love I love the Terminator line. Of course, like I haven't seen these things in person, but I can I can I can bet you that Prime One is going to crush this line. Okay. Prime one with Blitzway. Mm-hmm. Blitzway kind of hit or miss with some of their portraits, but for the most part, I think they do pretty good in my opinion. But I am in love with the Terminator movie and everything about the Terminator, <laughs> and I like robotic shit. So, yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I can't see nobody's comments unless Adam puts them up, so that's why I start laughing oh, I'm not when I say put them up. I control the comments when I'm, when I'm throwing yeah, pictures. Yeah, I'm throwing them up. <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yeah, like this, I'm I'm really looking forward to this. This was yeah, this one looked great. Yeah, this was my top pick, and that's really good looking. Can't wait for this guy too. You know what I mean? T1000 classic. Yeah, man. And they came out with all the. Remember they came out with the switch outs where his face is like got a hole blown through it. Dude, I wrote a whole comic book back uh, when I was younger after seeing this movie, and it was a rip off of this character. His name was Ghostblade. <laughs> <laughs> he just <laughs> his arms could like form blades and stuff. Yeah, I wonder if I could find that thing. It was, I thought it was amazing, but then I realized it was just him that you I just guys, copied him. Good with this portrait. I mean, I, I think, think it looks so. like him. from I this it distance, good. it looks mm-hmm. good. Yeah. All right, and then of course, ooh, going Beast Wars, X-Men right? Transformers. Yeah. Got to do it, man. I can't wait for this. I can't wait. Honestly, for neither can I. And I, you know, I'm not a Beast Wars fan per se, yeah. but I am a fan of Beast Wars Megatron. The look, who doesn't love a T-Rex? I mean, if you're going to be any animal, be a T-Rex, obviously. Oh man, so, so good. Like I, I can't. Are like, you I'm not a, including? I'm not a, are you doing Beast Wars as a line itself, or just Transformers in general just, as a line? Beast Wars as a line itself, because I was just getting ready there to say I'm not a big uh, Gen One fan like you guys, because I didn't. Mm-hmm. I just didn't watch it. I don't know how I missed that when I was a kid, but I just didn't watch it. And uh, but Beast Wars was huge for me. And I when they came out with this, I was like, oh my god, I'm getting this. Mm-hmm. So yep, I got this pre-ordered and the Optimus. Mm. Oh man, I can't wait till you guys get that in. Yeah. So I think this is gonna look really, really good. I've been talking about I don't have any robotic type statues in my in my collection, so this is really gonna kick it off nice. So <laughs> Real quick side note, Crippler, you just keep cracking me up because I've been watching the Masters, and if anyone watches golf at all, they know you you pipe in the bird sounds all the time. Uh-huh. Crippler, I, are you piping in the birds, or is that really going on over there? <laughs> no, that's, that's, what, that's really going in. It's like seagulls and birds and all of this stuff. <laughs> I was like, that yeah, shit's that, real that, over that, there. Yeah. <laughs> This, this is real stuff over here. Yeah, my last my last pick is going to be the Predator <laughs> line, the one-third line. I just, I mean, I, yeah, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's expensive. It's retarded how expensive it is. Uh, but, yeah, I, I really like this line, too. And if I could buy all of them, I would. I mean, I could, but that would be very irresponsible. I'd rather get a lot more smaller statues. But, um, yeah, I love this Dude. line, how could I even forget about the Predator line, man? That, that's it's because there's so many lines. Yeah, yeah. And I guess it's because, like, you, you prioritize um, to what your interests are. And, I'm, and I, I love Predators, but I'm, I don't collect them like that. But every yeah. time I see a Predator statue, it's just, like, hands so down, <laughs> some of the best <laughs> sculpted, painted statues. I, yeah, when you see it, let me tell you, when you see them... I know we say it all the time. When you see it in real life, mm-hmm. it will blow you away. I still come down to my man cave, and out of mm-hmm. all my statues, I got my um, the one that I got behind me here, the uh, jungle hunter, and he's mm-hmm. like kind of like <clears throat> the point of the of the statue collection. So you see him, and mm-hmm. when the lights are like real dark and it's kind of dim, and he's just standing there in like his pose, I'm just like, man, that shit looks. Tough. Yeah, man. and Adam, yeah, what man. you just said, in my opinion, is okay. When you're like, um, when you see it in 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 person, it's even better. I, so I think it looks great in the photos, and I believe it's better in person. Yeah, then you have man. People, like for example, yeah. saying Jane D, oh, the photos don't look good, but it looks good in person. Well, it should still look good in photos. Yes, probably much better in person. I get that, sure, yeah. but it should still look good in photos to you. You know what I mean? 
I got That's you. the thing. I know if I like a statue from the photo, and it's not based on. It's just based off the silhouette and the pose. Yeah. Like those things, the, the camera's not gonna fix. <laughs> you know what I mean? Lighting and stuff. The camera might fix like a paint the way but lighting that, hits it. That being said, though, Crip, I will mm -hmm. plain dev devil's advocate a little bit. Actually, mm -hmm. on the other hand, lighting and the right display will make a statue look way better. Like so Dude, how many times you seen a statue and then you and, and you see a statue well displayed, like it is just like crazy, yeah. and then you see another picture of it and it's just there, you know, or like a bunch version. of whatever. <laughs> it's yeah. just it yeah. gets lost in there. Like somebody could take a statue that you thought was just okay, give it like a it doesn't even have to be a pedestal, but if they give it like a pedestal with like crazy light, it'll make that ordinary statue look better than some way more expensive statues dude like, period yeah yeah, so, um, but yeah this is this is the last picture i was going to show this is the um this is the endoskeleton Not that that line. Line. yeah that looks so good i i, I consider getting this but i don't it's not going to fit in my collection but it's so good i love the teeth look at the teeth i was about to mention what the teeth. makes it the eyes and the teeth are what makes that it looks yeah so why, do, yeah, why is he more expressive than a lot of the female portraits you get? From <laughs> go on there, go on there. That's so true. You're not wrong. <laughs> and actually, they, they're actually fixing these teeth. These teeth are, there's an update on the teeth. So That's like the UK version, isn't it? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> hey, they love their coffee. Max, what happened? I'm talking about you. Like, they, they just so you, guys could, you guys could send your harassment complaints to KFAT? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. let them enjoy uh, their coffee so, so the chat we got a bunch of answers in the chat yeah, here uh john connor says p1 predator good choice nice call. alan prime one predator alien and berserk oh that's some great but great here's all there's so many good choices what do we got there Go right ahead. top three statue lines in my opinion prime one lord of the rings tweeter head masters and pcs turtle line mm-hmm AKA PCS Turtle Line, Iron Studios X Men Line, nice, and Twitter Head DC. You know, that's a really good line, the Iron yeah. Studios X Men. I mean, X Men. Uh, Mitchell says Prime One Predator, Alien Terminator. Piggy. Piggy. John Connor, Prime One Predator, Terminator, Transformers. Good picks. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Prime One Transformers, interesting. A Bayformer fan. They do, again, I would never buy a Bayformer. I wasn't a fan of the movies. But I think the statues look cool. Like aesthetically, they look cool, like an anime piece. Um, Grifter says Tweeter Head, Master, Sideshow X Men, and Way Studio Specific Rim. Those statues are no joke. They're pretty oh, cool. Oh, specific one. Ones. Specific I'm ones. always interested in those. They, they are so crazy. cool. Well, you're a big robotic fan, right? And yeah, so yeah. am I for the Transformers and shit, but uh, I always like that. And I like the movies. Yeah. Ooh, oh, Mr. Popo. Uh, Popo, X Men, nice, Transformers, nice. P1 Predator, P1 Aliens. Let's go. Vision, uh, PCS Turtles. Vision. What else All we right. got here? Uh, I think we're coming to an end. So I'm going to throw out an impromptu question based on uh, Adam's sure. story earlier about uh, Predator there. So my daughters catch me all the time staring at one or two pieces of my collection. I just always gravitate toward them. I'm just like, oh, I just love it. So guys, what piece in your collection are you just still staring at today? Ooh. in my collection yeah what piece is all your eye just always kind of goes back to that piece and you're like damn that is a good looking piece look at it. there it is right there adam just showing you Whoa. <laughs> he's praying to it he's praying to it um i do what you described right there kevin my daughters do the same thing and she's like you're obsessed with that statue or whatever like that and it's it, it could be different each day, but the most consistent is the the magic, the XM, um, X, XM X Men magic. The one is, I've been looking at lately. I'll show you. Mm -hmm. While he's coming, Jonas says PCS Iron Studios One Tent Ninja Turtles X Men Four Horsemen. Oh, that's cool. Oh, cool. that X that Four Horsemen. Uh, there was one more here. I thought. Oh, oh yeah. go <laughs> nice. I hear that. That's cool. 
That is the way right, right there. All right, you gotta put me on a big screen. I'm going that back. That is the way. Uh, uh, you're on a big screen. You're on a big screen. All right, I'm coming back. <laughs> okay. Ash, Ash says, Crippler, turn around to your left. I'm you still holding that. that. You see. <laughs> what? 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 Sorry, what? God damn it. BBC? <laughs> Oh, are you talking about where Captain America is on my pants? <laughs> Yo, Shane. Yeah. I just was informed that Transformers and G.I. Joe are going, to, they're going to do the crossover movie. Are they? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. Uh, with the way Beast Wars ended, I'm not surprised. Spoiler alert for anyone who hasn't Spoiler seen it. Spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah, man. Lasers and robots. Buddy, I can't wait. But hopefully they don't fuck up the G.I. Joe portion like they did with the original two movies and they don't oh, get Transformers like they did with the original movies. I'm Rick, hoping... Are you, are you watching the, the Fallout? Hey, um, I didn't get a chance because we was on the road, take it here, but I, I, I'm hearing really good things about it. It so is. So I'm, I'm going to check is. it out once I get back home. Yep. I, I'd rather watch it in the theater room, like at least for the first episode to see if it's that, if it's worthy of that. Cause I could watch it here on my iPad, but I'm like, ah. not nah, in theater room, bro. It's theater. It's theater room uh, worthy. Worthy. How many episodes did you catch so far? Uh, just the first one. There's eight. Okay. Oh, uh, and they dropped them all, right? They dropped them all. That's gonna make me go back to Fallout Four. I never beat that game I know, because I, was I didn't. Thinking the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like the. I didn't get into. It. I loved Fallout, of course, one and two, but Fallout Three was amazing. Uh, and then New Vegas, I really loved as well, but I never liked for too much settlement building and stuff like that. Hey, while you're here, Crip, I wanted to um, I wanted to show you this real quick. Hang on, I'm trying to find the picture. So why Adam's pulling that up, uh, Shane? If they do this GI Joe movie, to me, it deserves an Oscar. If you have some kind of fighter plane coming down at the Joes and it splits the uprights and the Joes just lay between the firefight or they roll and get missed. Uh -oh. If they do one or the other, I'm like, yeah. Right? Oh man. Or so, that same that same um, jet does that, but then it just transforms and lands. <laughs> and then he transforms and it's like Starscream or Skywalker. Yeah, it's like, or uh, uh, give Thundercracker some give Thundercracker some love. Give him a moment. That was <laughs> actually a pretty good Skywalk. robot. Yeah. That yes. was a that was a good robot. Underrated man, the way you could literally teleport everywhere. He's like Nightcrawler. Oh, Skywalk right? with the Nightcrawler cool. of the Transformers. <laughs> All right, so while you're here, I wanted to, um, I wanted us to all be here and give a big shout out to uh, to Shane for buying a car from me. <laughs> what? Um, what Shane, I appreciate you coming all the way down to buy this car from me. <laughs> you sold that car to Shane. Yeah, that, that's Shane to, right there. To Shane stunt double. <laughs> stunt double. <laughs> hey, that's, that's Shane. That's that Shane right there. Yo, Shane. Shane. Uh, Junior Shane. <laughs> Yo, Shane, I didn't even know you get all the way. No, you're not in the Georgia anymore, are you? I don't know where you're at right now. I no, I'm just kidding. I, I, I just, I, I saw this on one of the Facebook groups and I was like, wait a minute, that looks just like Shane. Is that Shane? And nah, it's not Shane. I zoomed in. I was I'll like, be, he's not a redhead. He's I'm like, play, Shane right? is really happy. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I thought that was funny. All right. Let's move on. I'm going to show, we'll go through some pictures now. I'm going to let you guys go because I'm going to head to the beach. They, are, they already walked. They said, I'll see you there. I'm like, oh, I could stay and hang out with you guys, but then I'll probably be like going to the doghouse later. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. Make the right <laughs> choice. Hang out online. they would be like, yo, I drove home. Oh. Yeah, later, Crip. They all, all right, the house is all empty. Yeah, they, they all, all love me. <laughs> <laughs> they all love me. <laughs> just like, they just assumed they're you weren't going. going. <laughs> yeah. They was like, we'll be there. Change your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you won't love me. You like, you look at me different if I wear these pants to the beach. All right, guys. Good to see you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I catch you guys tonight. Spread of democracy. Yeah, man. All right, man. I'll see you later, Crip. Have a good time. Always good seeing you, Crip. See you, Crip. All right. Let's move on to some pictures. We'll take this stuff down. Oh, actually, we're, we're skipping something here. Hang on. 
Or skip well, it. technically, we're not. You were, but <laughs> you're, you're running the show, so you're <laughs> skipping it. Not us. The Prime One Showcase. Oh yeah. Let's talk about that for a second. Uh, what are we thinking? What are What do you guys really want to see? We got the showcase. When's the date on the showcase again? Uh, I think it's Friday, isn't it? Yeah, Friday. I think okay. it's Friday. Um, Friday. I'm really hoping Prime One is going to show us some Batman and some anime. We haven't seen that before from them. <laughs> I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? That's all they show. <laughs> Oh, sorry. That's my prediction of what they're going to show us. Is Batman an anime? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what sells big in Asia. Kev, we'll start with you. What are you? What is the biggest thing you're hoping to see? Or maybe are you just kind of open minded and you're just like, whatever. I mean, I'm I'm kind of open to whatever they show me. But some people are going to want to see. You know, I'm going to want to see. Hey, are they coming out with any new Predator pieces? I know a lot of people want this one quarter scale Hutch Superman, like AK says. They've been, they teased that a while ago. Are they going to do anything like John Connor, or, uh, not John Connor? Um, are oh, they going to do like anything deeper into the Terminator line? This is the kind of stuff I'm thinking about. Whoa. So, is there anything that you were hoping to see? Yeah. <clears throat> so, again, out of the Hush line, I, I'm really big. I love those pieces. So, I do want to see this Batman and Catwoman. That would be. Okay. I've been kind of holding a space for it. But despite what Shane says, I really do like their anime line. So as I'm getting more and more into anime, yeah, I, I, I can't wait. I, I hope they throw a curveball. I hope there's a, another series that they're working on that'll be neat to add to the collection. Yeah, that'd be a big shock, eh? Yeah, I, yeah. That's, I think I'm going to work out well. I think they're going to show some anime at some point. I think I'm going to win that one. I, I, I think you're right. And a Batman statue. <laughs> I think they hey, did really, I really good want with that Catwoman uh, and Batman. Though. The Batman uh, related cool. statue is coming for sure. The Dragon Ball Z statues. I wish they would have went deeper with that, man. That I, I thought those Dragon Ball Z statues were really cool. Uh, yeah. They had the Goku and the Vegeta, and then they kind of stopped it. Actually, they got they got Frieza coming out. It was just really expensive, but that quarter scale Frieza. Uh, Cash, so. As I agree, Kevin, Batman, Catwoman. Shout out to Cash and his crew, BBC. Catch him on Saturdays. Yeah. Shane, what about you? What are you What are you hoping to see out of the showcase? <laughs> well, I'm just a hater, even though Ollie, go fuck yourself, Kevin. Um, <laughs> uh, it's not going to happen, but if I had one wish for Prime 1, that they would continue their G.I. Joe line. Yeah. Because their Destro... Their Serpentor, their Storm Shadow, phenomenal. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I would want. I don't think it'll happen, but I mean, you never know, but I highly doubt it. Well, what so if they got what a little bit more obscure with like a Zartan or something like that? Would you get excited? I want Zartan. He's my number one character I want next. Oh, like very after cool. uh, I did that, I helped design that Cobra Commander. Yep. If it's sold well, uh the next one uh we talked about possibly was doing zartan oh very because cool. he hasn't been done right so yeah. i love zartan i'm a big fan and then i'd want a dr mindbender oh okay very cool what i dream for that they'll never do is a spawn <laughs> that would be great but one third scale i hope they do a one third yeah. scale so you can't buy it uh, i would still buy yeah it. exactly not a big enough spawn I fan, not a big enough fan. <laughs> yeah, you're a one quarter fan. You're not a one third fan, kid. Hey, yeah, man, I just like to match my stuff. I, See, I like the problem with these stuff. millennials. They're all about the one quarter scale spawns. They're not true spawn fans. Yep. yep. Uh, that's the last time I sell you a car. I'm not giving you any more discounts. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I'll go buy it from someone else when this one breaks in three weeks. No. It's the bed for okay. this fucking lemon. Let me go back. All right. So, yeah, I mean, that's know what else i would want to see from the showcase I, like i said the terminator line if they go deeper like a sarah connor a john connor that would be cool but i i, I don't know if i would pick them up it, they would have to be doing something pretty cool or a, in a really cool museum pose but uh I can't what really time is it kicking off does anyone know i don't know no anyone I'm, in the I'm chat know sure. what time it uh kicks Here, off? I, can, I can look it up real quick i think vibranium gin says i would love prime one to give us one quarter scale nightwing that's cool. Oh, that'd be a good one. Yeah. Drifter, uh, Prime One, Guyver Two, or Karis would be nice. Yeah. 
okay. anime sales. Like that last night, Prime One. Yeah, off oh, that chainsaw man. I know nothing about that chainsaw man, but I think that statue looks amazing. Like, oh. I, if I could have one anime statue just for pure aesthetics, I would take that chainsaw man. And I know there's a lot of good ones with light ups, but that something about that blood. They nailed that blood the way XM nails fire for me. So it's 10 a.m. JST. So what's that make for us? I don't know. What's JST what stand JST? for again? That's a time zone I'm not familiar with. JST. Japanese Standard Time or something? Or Japan Standard Time? And yeah, I imagine all of Japan's in one time zone, so... So EST. So that would be 9 p.m. for us Sunday. Is that? Or no, no, no. Excuse me. That would be 9 p.m. On Thursday, wouldn't it be? That's Japan time. Yeah. All right. So, so what time was it? Japan time? Uh, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. So that means it's 9 p.m. Eastern. Yeah. So 9 p.m. for us. There you go. You know, I would that? also like them to go ahead and start releasing all the crap that they got backlogged that they've been showing for the last three or four showcases. Like let's right. start cranking those things out that don't show me anything from the last two showcases, only show me new things and start getting that other stuff done. But I get it. They, they take a lot of time and put a lot of detail and effort into their pieces and it shows. So I'm kind of okay with waiting to a degree. Is that it? What are the what are the guys saying in the chat, Shane? Anything? Anybody saying anything? Yeah, good? I've been showing it when you when you went. What uh, the guys are looking for, John okay. Connor, the, the Wolf yeah. Predator. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a big one that a lot of Predator fans have been asking for. Patrick, who's a real fan, says I would definitely buy a one. Yeah, spawn way to go, Patrick. Spawn. Way to go, Patrick. That's a Spawn fan right there. Listen to them. They're just you. naming me. Don't just let Pass them. off the Patrick. Okay. <laughs> I don't even have a head. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> all right. What else we got? Uh, like I said, I already went through them. Went through them. Okay. Yeah. All right. So take that down. We'll go through some picks now. So J and D came out with the Catwoman. From Batman, is it Batman Returns? Yes, yeah, Batman Returns. Yeah, yep. Initial thoughts. I like it a lot. Well, I'm right with you. I like it a lot. I think the paint like job looks good. Lot. It looks like Michelle Pfeiffer with the mask and all this. I, all day long. Yeah. I think it's great. All day long. What do you think, Shane? I think it looks good. Um, if I had to choose between the two, I'd, I'd go with the Prime One Blitzway over this. Okay. Um, I, I don't think this looks bad at all. Uh, the unmasked portrait is not as good in my opinion, but this, this looks pretty damn good. I agree. Yeah. But I, like I said, I think I'd go, if I went with one, I think I'd go with the prime one more than this. It, I just, I like the way it looks better. So even over the blitz way, cause I know that was, um, being discussed at once. Honestly, I, I'd have to see them. I thought Prime One Blitzway did a collaboration on theirs. Oh, did they? Okay, maybe I'm yeah, getting. I it Who Prime else Blitzway. came out with one at the same time? Was it uh, uh, Dark Side? Dark, uh, yeah, Dark yeah Side. they came out with that. That's where I got confused. Okay. Really, really good Catwoman. Yeah, I agree with you, Shane. If that's the route, yeah, I, I love that piece when I saw it. I thought that was a great representation of her. Yeah. So yeah, it, it's 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 not bad. Like yeah, I think it's good. I like it. Congrats to everyone who's getting it. I love this thing, man. I think this looks so good. I think that looks just like her, too. In See, pieces opinion. like this, I think, would be really cool for, like, a diehard movie Batman fan, like the 89 Batman kind of series. But have, like, in a, a media room where you only have a couple of pieces to really just accentuate it. Yeah, yeah. That's where stuff like this would really just kind of pop. And so true. Yep. have some serious presence but yeah congrats to everyone who got this because i think it sold out already it was like right away yeah but well, to be fair jane d always sells out to the distributors that doesn't mean all the fans actually bought them that's fair necessarily necessarily yeah I, I really like the way this looks i think it came out so good and it you know for the price this is actually not a bad price for jane d it's 
I'm, they're all expensive, but this is two grand for a third scale J and D statue. Two oh, that's grand a great is what price. I saw. Yeah, that's not a bad price, man. If I if it was a character that I liked, I, I would have bought it. But and it is a character I like. I just don't collect Batman stuff. So, uh, and then here is Michelle Pfeiffer in just her normal clothes. Michelle Pfeiffer, as Crip would say. You know, I, I know it's taken a little bit more criticism, but I, I just recently went back and watched the movie, and she, I thought it was a pretty good representation of her. I think, it you looks, know, she, she like does over-accentuate her makeup and stuff in that movie, and I I feel like it's pretty close to the Selena Kyle from the movie. I, I'm i not going to argue with this one. I, I'll shoot J&D down when I, I feel like there's more of an argument there, but uh, not on this one. I like this one a lot. I, I could be wrong. I want to see more pictures, but with her jacket off on the unmasked, I thought the pose looked a little weird from certain angles, like the way she was kind of like leaned or I, I, it could be me, but when we look at the pictures, it, it looked a little unnatural, I think. But with the jacket on, you can't really tell. I mean, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this quite well. Uh... I'll see if I can just show it on my cell phone just because it's a little easier here. Hang on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, so I think it looks like her. You see that? Getting there. It, it's Doesn't really hard to tell in. because, I mean, she's wearing a mask and uh, then she's got like two different haircuts. It's. That's really, really hard to tell. The best way to tell is put her side by side with the Catwoman pick from the movie. Yeah, <laughs> the Kyle from the... yeah. I, I don't think she looks terribly off. I just, for $2,000, I don't think it's close enough to the likeness, but I mean, I would never display one with her just wearing her normal clothes anyway, personally. Like yeah, I, don't I don't need a Michelle Pfeiffer statue. Yeah, I don't need the regular statue. I just need the Catwoman statue. I think that would be way cooler. They got the little cat down there. I do Try like a little bit of hard cell. No, on the base, that's kind of cool. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm just not an overly big fan of the the plain, very oversimplified bases for J and D. That's just not my style. I know it looks clean. It looks like a museum type thing. The hyper realism. It's just not my style. That's not what I like. So that looks like her, man. Well, like, when you look at it, you could tell who it's supposed to be for sure. There's no doubt. Yeah. That looks like I, her. I give, that, I give that about 85%. I'd say right now, looking at this, if uh, J and D got like the Star Wars license, because I'm so desperate for that really accurate portrait, they would get all my money. I just, I, I, I do like, when I see stuff like this, I'm like, you're, you're capturing it to a certain degree and I'm, I'm there. I will never, ever buy a silicone statue. It's just not my thing. So gotcha. it doesn't matter yeah. how good the statue looks, I won't buy it. And I won't buy a statue with rooted hair, no matter how good it looks. I don't like it. So it's the thing my... with this is the, the hair looks a little matted up here. Yeah. But I'm, I'm really not a fan of rooted hair. Like it, I don't know. I, I don't want to comb my statue's hair. Like now for me, now I'm heading into like Barbie territory. I'm not doing it. When you got to comb the hair, that's not my thing. I don't mind blowing off styrofoam, but I'm not brushing the hair. So the, the hair looks a little matted, but the face, the face, uh, I'm looking at younger photos of her on my phone and it, it looks like her. It looks like her to me, but I could be wrong. I think they do a great job with the, the skin tones too. Mm -hmm. And the fabric is good. Yeah. So yeah, they said this was sold out. Like Shane mentioned, uh, it was just, I guess it's to the retailers. And that they even gave her a paler face just like in, when she wears her suit. Opposed to like her just with makeup on, so. Very nice. I, I I really like that statue. Good job, J and D. I think you killed yep. it. 
All right, and then we got Sideshow Originals coming out. Do you guys know more about this? I don't know anything. Is mm. they're going to come out with their own line of stuff? Or They've done stuff like that in the past, so why not? Yeah. Is it well, like I mean, they, of the Dead kind of deal? Am I wrong? Don't they already have this with the uh, Pulp Vixen and Court of the Dead? Like They already yeah. have their own Sideshow Original line, so what, are they just adding to it? Or are they just labeling it all under the family heading of Sideshow Originals? Like what? I don't know what... They already have this, I thought. I would or is it something saying. called Sideshow Originals and it's going to be its own independent line? Maybe. Completely different. I don't I'm know. not sure. Uh, Patrick Thomas, how long does silicone last? The Queen Studios Hulk is the best ever, in my opinion. I think some people say there. medical grade silicone lasts for 20 to 40 years. I mean, I, I just don't like that it could get ripped or nicked or like the dust collects to it, uh, silicone sweats, and you. It, it's a lot more upkeep than I'm willing to do for my statues. I don't mind dusting, but that's about the extent of what I'm willing to go for for statue maintenance. I, I've heard people say like 50 years or 30 years. I, no I, one knows because there's no silicone statue that old. <laughs> so yeah. it's all speculation, but, you know, silicone does last, I guess, but... vampire witch and demon oh i don't know they're talking about something in there but anyway the original Actual originals maybe oh i see okay yeah that would be Ooh. cool i oh i see you're talking about like the old horror ones like the uh, the mummy the frankenstein those ones are they like continuing that mm. yeah something maybe because if they did they'd have to do them over because if you're going to continue that line and you have these old pieces that are 15 20 years old compared to nowadays they're not going to pair very well together, I don't think. Well, I'm looking forward to see what they come up with. I'm it's it's uh, piqued my interest, so we'll see what they come up with. And they've been they've been doing some stuff outside of the box a little bit, so you got to give a shout out to Sideshow. Knight says, "I hear silicone lasts forever. Nothing lasts forever but the earth and sky." A wise man once sang that. All right, so moving on, we got this new Batman. Is this a premium format? Yeah, it yeah, is. It's, uh, it's one quarter. Okay. So premium format. Kind this of a different, by, uh, style, an different style than we're used to seeing. Um, a little bit of a dynamic style and a different style cape. But what what are your thoughts on this? I mean, I I don't think it looks bad. I'm just not into this type of Batman style, but um uh this is it's not it's not my style of batman i mean you know i'm not a huge batman fan i don't mind batman i like that, batman putting that aside yeah putting that aside it, this is one of the i'd say one of like the top three batmans that i don't like from sideshow like the style right it's just not my style okay yeah i don't like the the super tall ears are really thin him s kind of sliding down like he's sliding down like ice man on his ice ramp it just it's just not for me yeah, I do like cape, this uh, crazy shit going on with that cape. I mm -hmm. do like this base. I like how they mix the clouds in or the smoke in with the uh, bats, and I like how the bats are kind of flying up like this onto the side. One thing I am a sucker for is exaggerated capes. So this cape doesn't look bad. It gets a little lost down here, and they're kind of trying to blend it with the the smoke, I guess. I just feel like the cape looks very odd and it looks like it's got two pieces like the way it's folded on the at the shoulder blades in the back it just looks odd to me like yeah. that's weird i don't know it just i don't know why it's so puffy in the in the air behind them like it i guess it's supposed to be moving and it's blowing back it's just trying to show movement yeah i it, like i said it, it's not bad it's just not my style i i don't i don't care for this if I was going to be real critical, and I will be here for a minute, uh, the cape right. itself looks a lot like a, a, a kid who first is starting to draw superheroes and just doesn't understand how cloth folds. It, it looks like that kind of drawing. I'm just like, yeah, this has no representation of cloth whatsoever. <laughs> what do you think of the cape, Kev? A fucking little kid drew it. I don't know. Yeah, it, you're putting it up. You're going, wait, way to go, son. And you're putting this up on your refrigerator. But uh, that is not how cloth folds in any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> <Refrigerator>. <laughs> uh, 
Oh man! Yeah, All right, I'm I'm off I'm off my uh, little pedestal right now. Yeah, that's okay. That's <laughs> that's not the greatest pose either. I, you know, it's it, you got so many different types of Batman. Like, how many times can you do Batman? They got to mix it up a little bit. So I appreciate yeah. they tried things different. That I always appreciate, but you know, it's just not my my flavor, Batman. But doesn't look terrible. I don't think it looks terrible. It's just not my style. That's all. It's just all right. stylized different than what I would like. You know, here's, here's a question like, for the group. All the power you know, to be, because again, Sideshow has come out with a number of Batmans, and let's just keep it you got to change it up. <laughs> well, I was gonna say to a quarter scale, have they hit that quintessential Batman yet? Have they knocked one out of the park? I haven't seen one. Well, the one that where he was, I don't know which one it was. It was called, but it was the one off the off the comic book cover where they just showed his silhouette. And he was kind of doing this like dive with his hands mm -hmm. like this. You know what I mean? Like this kind yeah. of pose. I thought that was a really cool looking Batman with the big lightning bolt in the back. Okay. But I would oh, like to see okay. a. What's that? It was the Dark Knight version, right? It was the Dark Knight version, yeah. yeah. I would like to see a more museum version of him like standing in place and just a really good definitive quarter scale Batman, you know? Yeah. You know, can you think of one off the top of your head that's a quarter scale that just takes it from all of them? I've owned like a, a, a bunch Hush? of them, and there's there's not one that I say is the quintessential yet. So I'm still looking for that one Batman, and once I get it, I'll be like, all right, there's nothing else uh, going to replace it. They've made it in third scale. They've made it in third scale. I agree. Times, third scale, right? yeah. You haven't third really scale. seen a very definitive, like they, let's think about it, like the Superman the Superman, uh, what was the Superman Hush? That was Hush. like a very definitive Superman for everyone, right? Still is, yeah. So is is there going to be one for for quarter scale? I don't know. It, is and do you think that Superman, that definitive Superman from back in the day, they're making him quarter scale now? Do you think that would be become the new quarter scale definitive Superman? I don't know. Hmm. I, I will be. say I think the Prime One New Fifty Two Batman is the best one quarter scale batman in my opinion i i can agree with that i love yeah, that that's what's it's, in my collection right now. amazing like Which i love did you that say? new 52 prime one where yeah. the one where he's like grappling and flying and you have to screw him into the broken window it's very dynamic it's oh yeah in. yeah it's amazing yeah. i love it i even love the new 52 outfit on batman because it's kind of armored and it makes sense because he's human and he needs that extra armor and not just spandex like Superman. So I, I like it. And I also love the uh, Prime One Justice Buster Batman, the standalone. I think mm -hmm. that's a that's my favorite museum Batman. And the P1 New 52 is my favorite dynamic, the one quarter scale Batman. Do you guys like this base down here? What do you think of this, this base? I don't know what that is. Is that bats. smoke? And, just bats like, and smoke. Yeah. yeah, but like there's there's cogs and there it's like broken metal, isn't it? Like in like past the bats in the smoke, like go yeah, deeper there's... towards his feet. Yeah, keep going, keep going. Yeah, like there. Like what? What's all that stuff? Okay, that's a statue. I see, I see. I thought it was random metal. It's almost like he's on some type of rooftop, and those are shingles. Except the, the rooftop is like angled. Yeah, these look oh, like yeah. shingles right here. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't but know. It, but it's not even shingles. It's like scales. It looks like scales. Let's see here. The chat's got a couple thoughts on it. So, yeah, yeah. I think everyone's in agreement that the face is off point. Otherwise, I'm good with it. According to Patrick, uh, Knight goes, love the long ear uh, ear bats. Uh, the younger look versus the gritty one that uh, that they always make. So, yeah, I mean, yes, this is kind of more that Batman one look. Uh, Vibranium Jim here is uh, the only thing I don't like is the ears, but that's it. I love the suit though, and I know you know he he's got it on pre order by all means, man. Like I said earlier, collect what you love. Don't don't let, listen to me or anyone else on this chat. Um, same with Spider Man, I mean, waiting on definite Spider Man still. So nice guy, exactly. Kind I've of heard a lot that. of people say that too. Definitive Spider Man, like a quarter scale. I, I'm thinking he's saying a quarter scale yeah. Spider Man. Yeah. We're all kind of just looking for that one piece that we don't have to worry about. Ledge just goes, I think the base looks cool. Okay. And, oh, and Hernandez is just backing up his boy Shane here. Same Shane waiting on a definitive Batman, and that new uh, 52 Batman is near to it. Yep. Okay. It's a great piece. Very cool. 
I don't mind. I don't mind the longer ears. It's just a different version of Batman. I don't. This this whole this doesn't looks weird to me. I don't know. I don't know. Not for me, but it's but it's not bad. Is there a is there a switch out portrait for this? I haven't seen it. If there is, I it does know. look like it has the option, but I don't. I haven't seen it. Yeah. See the seam. I mean, it here. would. That is a good spot to like hide seam lines, so no. it would fit. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's continue. We were going to move on to this avatar. Uh, what I just want to say something. So Tripler and I decided on Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, we're going to do a, a live P1 event drunk viewing, drinking and viewing party. I've uh, fill up the chat. So I already have a few people. You boys are obviously welcome. Let me know if you want to come. Okay. And anyone else who wants to come on, just hit me up. And the first uh, 10 names I get are on the show. I'm in. Cool. You're in. I like drinking. Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, Prime One Live event. Bring your booze, bring your drugs, bring whatever the fuck you want. And let's have fun. Nice. I might do that. All right. So this was a new, this is a new statue just, just came out from Infinity. I think it's Infinity Studios. And they made this, this is from the newer movie, uh, that newer Avatar movie, I believe. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, 40 and a half inches tall. This thing is also like $3,500. It's a third scale. I mean, it is, it is 40 inches tall, but 3,500 is, this is Prime One? This is Infinity Studios. Wow. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> Let's let's, cool. let's take a let's take a closer look before we get too deep into the yeah, price. Right. You measure it. Over it's not nice or worth it, but it's it's still expensive. Oh, We're that's about the length of it now. <laughs> about that um, big. Yeah, I don't know. I, and her skin apparently there's there's like a glow here. I'll show you. There's a glow that it does. Just like in the movie. Oh, like, shut up. That's I awesome. I thought that was a nice touch. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's pretty cool. Yep. And it goes throughout her body. Okay. You'll see it on her legs, too. So that might make it really look cool. And just add to it. I think the skin tone is spot on. All of her little accessories that are on, are, it just looks like it's out of the movie. It looks like a great piece. The portrait looks spot on. I don't know if I like the sleepy eyes a little bit, but. <laughs> Zoom in a bit on the a eyes. A little, little bit of a sleepy look. Yeah, her eyes. She looks like she's got a little touch of the downs. Just her eyes. <laughs> like she's just like lazy face. She's saying you know? touch of the down. <laughs> yeah, touch of the downs. Let's like the lazy, lazy look. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> fucking crazy. I don't know. I just call it like I see it. Fuck. Yeah. 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 You do. Hey, keep inviting me back. You know what you're getting into. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I want to see more of this hair, though. I don't know. You think the statue looks pretty cool, though, man. And that light up on the face is sick. Even the what? eyes. Like, I, I, I would guarantee you these eyes would look so glass. cool in real life. This silicone? Uh, do glass hair rooted or glass eyes rooted hair? You know what? Let me look that up real quick. It I'm looks here. like it would be for that price. I'm assuming it is. Let's see if it is silicone. That's a good question. Walton's got your back, Shane. You good? Walton always has my back. Oh, just so people know, my boy Walton is selling its pre order uh, with Dilber for the um, Sp XM Spider Man transformation, and he's going to take a hundred dollar Canadian hit off his pre order. So if anyone wants that statue for good price from a trusted seller, Dilber, just hit up Walton and uh, or hit me up if you don't know his his uh, legal name, and uh, I'll I'll send you to him. It's a good deal. Yeah, the exchange right here in the U.S. is it's like five dollars you'd save. <laughs> so you got detailing with a UV light. We already talked about the beaded top, woven woven skirt. So that's probably uh, that's probably mixed media. Jewelry on the hands and feet, Pandora themed base, glass eyes, and it is made out of polystone. Wow. 
Yeah. Now I'm really surprised about the price. <laughs> yeah. They got it on. Silicone, they got but fuck, man, 3,500 bucks? That's, that's some change. You man. could take 30, 35, not 25, right? 3,500 uh, expected to release quarter four of 2025. And it's got an addition size of 199. And, and I know you can't really compare, but just to put this in, in for a reference, Prime One, Justice Buster, the Ultra Bonus Max Exclusive Ultimate Edition was $3,000. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is $500 more than that. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. I'm not saying it's not worth it. It's just not worth it to me. It just depends like what, yeah, what it, exactly is it worth it to you? I think that's what it really comes down to, you yeah. know? Your percent. Yeah. I really like how they did these plants and everything too. That looks great. Very vibrant. The wood looks real. The bark. You got the mushrooms on the side. Again, this skin tone looks like it's spot on from the movie. So it's a really cool piece. My wife saw it and she loved it. So that's the back there with the tail. That's the whole piece right there. What do you guys think? It's a gorgeous piece, but I'm, I'm with a, a couple of the people in the chat. Is thirty five hundred? That's a that's a it's, steep price point, and movie not at the that kind of that kind of collection. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I you know I, I think it is a little steep in price though. That being said, maybe it was just you know the stuff they needed to use to to have the UV light or the black light, you know, but I, I would imagine that's not, does that sound super intricate to do in a piece like this? I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's going to be a hard sell to the wife. Yeah. I'm, I'm sitting in the dark with my half naked uh, woman statue just because I want to see the glowing parts on her. <laughs> it's going to be, that's just not going over on any level guys. My hot alien girl. <laughs> so there's the size comparison. Yeah, I don't know if I would still. I, I would probably spend, if I was to buy this, about two grand. I think it's fifteen hundred dollars over. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Adam. I mean, I that would be about fifteen hundred dollars over. Yeah. All right. Let's move on. There goes some closer shots. Look at you getting into that crotch, eh? That loincloth. That loincloth. All right. So this Rogan Gambit statue is coming out. How do we think this is going to look? Is this going to be a, a premium format? Is this going to be a fifth scale? It's hard because they did the... Uh, what, what was the Batman? Uh, the Batman Catwoman, I think, is one-fifth. And then before that, they did a Joker Harley years ago, and that was one-sixth. I would assume that it's probably going to match the... It might follow suit with the Batman. You know? I don't know. You would figure that... And I'm not saying all of their dials will be, but now they're starting to branch into the the one fourth scale. Their dials yeah. used to always be one fifth or less. So you would figure since they're doing one fourth now that that's what this is going to be. It's like the new evolution. And now they're starting to branch out into bigger statues mm -hmm. from their premium formats. Mm -hmm. And then now their dials went up another scale size. So to me, it would make sense if it's one quarter. Mm. I'm very. I, I'm not really. Or, into or the maybe it'll be both. Maybe they offer both. I'm not into the romantic type statues, you know, where they're mm -hmm. all huddled together like that. I'd rather have them being badass like they were in the cartoon. But I mean, they were like this in the cartoon too. They were they were booed up a little bit. So, mm -hmm. all right. So we'll see how that develops, but uh, we'll show it when it comes out. All right. So this is obviously this is up for pre-order now. I think this piece was like eight something. I want to say they got the other ones coming out. We looked at these a little bit before, but this is the Rocky Balboa statue, which, you know, I'm from Philly, man. This would be a cool statue to have somewhere, even upstairs, like a Rocky Balboa statue. Uh, and I think everybody in this area, you know, when you're when you're in Philadelphia, Rocky Balboa, even though he's like a basically a fictional character. People love him for Philadelphia. That he put he put Philadelphia on the map with that movie. So, and with the statue that they got in front of the the Philadelphia Art Museum, I don't know if you mm -hmm. guys know about that, but everyone I, I really tore that down. 
I thought they, they moved, moved it. it. Not, they, they didn't tear it down. They might have moved it. Yeah, moved it, it, moved like, it. It, moved. it was at the top of the, the stairs, right? And you had yeah. everybody that would, every tourist that would come in, they would run up the stairs, do a little rocky thing at the top of the stairs, and everybody would film them. But the problem was you had people like falling down the stairs and like old people trying to get up there just to take a picture with the with the Rocky Balboa statue. And it's a lot of steps. So they brought it down to the bottom of the stairs so you don't have to run all the way up to the top of the stairs. You know, that's half the fun, man. It Come is on, half the fun. Reenact a movie. That statue was centered right like where, like downtown Center City. It was like, it was perfect. So, I love that. Yeah. But anyway, this is a cool looking statue. If you're into Rocky, Blitzway, yeah, Blitzway is doing. I think Blitzway does great with their movie pieces. This is the rooted hair. I know Shane's not a fan with the rooted hair. What do you think, uh, Kevin? You do you mind rooted hair in your statues? No, because for a while there, I was uh, collecting like uh, hot toys and stuff like that, so it, it didn't bother me. It it's frustrating if it gets out of place, but if you you know. Don't mess with it. It looks fine. <laughs> where did, where you where go, did this come from? Like, where did this even like originate from, Shane? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. What's up, Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, this is. I think that's a good. That that face looks really good. It does. Yeah, and I like the little. I mean, they even got the little. The little band-aid up there or the little yeah. uh thing just like in his movie he's so old now man how old is how old is he now he's got to be in like set he's got to be like 75. but his, his age is irrelevant have you seen his daughter's smoke oh. shows holy oh. fuck she's oh, a, i looked at one i'm like wow i see the other one i'm like she's hotter i look he's at the like third, four. I'm like, not me. he's got like four three it's just his wife is so hot you think that's his daughter too oh okay that was probably yeah. it yeah, it's unreal. Let's so that's see, the Roger Stallone was born in 46. So, so that makes him 70. I don't know. What's that? that so let's see here. That would have made him, um, well, 46. So 60. He, he's coming up on his 80th, but he's um, eight, uh, 77. Okay. If I yeah, did my math more. real fast, 77, yeah. I think. Okay. 77, 70. Eight, somewhere around there. So we got the Bruce Lee statue too. I thought this was, you know, is an iconic jumpsuit. Oh, yep. I, yeah, Bruce Lee, yes. Come on, man. That's awesome. I felt like this show was on TNT, and the, TNT like every Saturday when I was growing up as a kid. Just oh, yeah, like flipped did. it on about one o'clock on a, a Saturday afternoon. And you just had Bruce Lee there kicking some ass. This has got rooted hair too. They seem like they're doing a lot of rooted hair stuff. Great pose, fantastic Ooh. pose. I mean, this this pose is a ten out of ten. And 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 Patrick's not wrong there. People from Philly think Rocky is a real person. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, that's shots fired. Like <laughs> they, you get some people is like so a lot of people are like, wait, Rocky, that wasn't like a real like boxer. No, that wasn't. A, what are you talking about? I mean. The story could be real. I, I, I never thought it was, but based off I, of it's not story. completely out of the realm of possibility that you have that kind of underdog story. Yeah. Although, like, I follow boxing, or I used to, so I know that Rocky's not a real person. I don't think you guys could see this on your screen. I could see it on my screen, but there's, like, there's some stubble. There's yeah, a lot nice. of stubble. That's cool. All right. This is not really a quite a statue, but you got a little Voltron here. Nice. God, I need a Voltron. Fuck. Don't we all? I need a Voltron, man. You got all his accessories. They even got the little pilots down there. I thought so, this was cool to add. I, see, I love the sword thing here. And those who actually watched Voltron know mm -hmm. that every episode, they would always get their ass kicked. Until they finally wisened up and made the sword, and then then it, then they just like and busted all over the guy. Yeah. It's like, why don't you just make the sword to begin with? Here, right there, there we right go. There. That yeah. is awesome. I would pose yeah, it just like that. With that. <laughs> that is definitely awesome. 
Look at that. Holy, that's a cool that's piece. Cool. I wish there's, you know, bigger. This is limited too. Out. That look, thousand worldwide. I really hope Jay is able to get that uh, Voltron line that he's going to go for because that Voltron's going to be sick. Yeah. There, there they go taking apart because obviously you could take them apart and put them together. Cool. You got the acrylic stands too, so they're all jumping up. Let me ask you guys something since you both have uh, XM Transformers or Adam, you got one on PO anyway. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about them stopping doing the proximity pieces? Oh, I'm fine with it. It didn't seem to really go down too much, but yeah. You're, you're talking about XM? Yeah. I it's, think it's, it's a lot of real estate. I think, I think the proximity happen. piece would have been super cool on the Beast Wars Megatron. You said you think it would be cool? Yeah, I think that would be cool. Having like the, the purple T-Rex transformed as opposed to just a car. Like that like would be smaller, cool. Like a smaller version sitting right next yeah, to Yeah, like it. how they do. You know, Optimus has the truck, yeah. Bumblebee, the yeah, little... I like that thing. idea. I they like stopped it, so they don't do those anymore with the Transformer pieces. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it just... Yeah, the price listen. didn't seem to go down any. <laughs> you, I would probably assume that half the people would probably keep it in the box and the other half would display it. You and know? all of mine are in boxes, right? I just... That's why. So for me, I don't really give a shit, but I was just wondering for you guys. I know a lot of people do like it, so how do you feel that they don't make them anymore? Does that bother I, you? I display mine, but... To be honest, the reason I love the Transformers were more for their robot fa their version than the the vehicle version. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree. I I would probably like it, but I would it wouldn't stop me from buying the statue. Yeah, yeah, agreed. This was the Scarface. This I'm just showing some stuff from Blitzway. Um, Scarface, we looked at him before. I don't think this this doesn't look rooted at all, but. No, that looks spot sculpted. on, spot on. I mean, they even got the gold chain right there. The suit is spot on. Al Pacino, that's another guy that's aging. It's like crazy, man. The older we get, all these guys are going to start passing away because they're so old. Yeah, man. Tom Hardy. A lot of people were saying, what's up with the face? I was like, yeah, kind of, it, it looks like um a little bit. It, and then it looks off to me. And then I this can see who they're trying to go with, but that that's off for me. Got a little sloppy up here with the paint. I was about to say, yeah. Yeah. A little bleeding. Not a fan. It looks like when a kid first starts drawing. No, I, I won't go there again. <laughs> Would you wow. put it up on the refrigerator? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. like, Good job there, son. <laughs> Good job, buddy. All right, so we got a Psylocke on bike on an X bike. Look at this. That's actually kind of cool. Yeah. It is. They took a page out of XM's book with this one. All that expression. Yeah. <laughs> Shane's loving it. I'm riding a bike, doing a super crazy turn at a high speed and about to cut someone. I have no emotion. Yeah, I'm bored <laughs> out of my ass. <laughs> Just no, a fucking you, Sunday. Let, let, let's say, Sunday. let's talk about the things we do like about it though, right? This is, this is something that is... Yeah, that sucks. And, and you know what? It is actually a pretty portrait. She just yeah, it's, it's fine on the portrait. Yeah. And the hair looks good, too. It's flowing the right way. Yeah. The bike is turning, which is cool. I'm not sure. Like, this looks like, I mean, it just exploded. Like, this whole... Uh, the base is a, a little messy to me. I don't know what's going on with the base. Because I don't think a bike matches with this base as much. I would have probably liked to seen it on a street. But, but I, I guess that works a little bit. It looks like she's crashing through something on that bike. Or maybe yeah. landing on, on it. For maybe coming Here, on let's, the roof. let's look at the other pictures and see. Yes, yeah, so she's hitting this. I mean, I used to do the same thing when I was a teenager with mailboxes. But, I mean, there you go. <laughs> How do you like this? X-Men power? I just read men power. I go, this is, this is kind of setting them back, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> so for me i see what they're trying to do there like i do like how certain statues throw in easter eggs like xm rhino on the license plate of the cabbies crushing uh gives the uh spectacular spider-man issue i forget what issue it was and that's the first issue that uh rhino appeared and that's the license plate of the crush car so i like when they do easter eggs but that's that's completely unnecessary having x-men power ridden on your motorcycle tire like that, it just doesn't make sense. Why? Why would you do that? It doesn't. Why do you guys do this? They're gonna think it's me. 
buddy. Adam, it's one thing for you to treat Kevin and I like that, but oh I won't stand God. you treating our viewers like that. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. On behalf of Collector Stable, That's I apologize. Back. So these guys uh, have Adam. Adam, right. Adam they, they Adam. poses me a lot. <laughs> they don't work for you, Adam. You can't treat them like that. Look at this, though. Look how I guess this wraps around the top here like she was pulling it into is that uh, what she's doing she she wrapped it around and that's how she's turning i think so buddy you have to have some pretty fast fucking reflexes to do that shit do you like the smoke on the tires how it's coming off the tires uh i i don't think maybe it's the picture i don't think that smoke looks particularly good I, i'd rather without it it looks more like milk like she just went through a puddle of milk and now it's splashing up it's so hard to capture smoke. Out it, of it is. And that's why sometimes it's better just to have it removable. So you could put it on or not like with magnets or something. Yeah. Look, look at why uh queen stopped doing that Hulk with all the smoke around it. They just couldn't get it to look right. I like the color of her hair. That looks great. I that like how she's, I like everything about this, except I, I'm not in love with the base and I'm not in love with her portrait, but everything else looks great. Her ass looks great. Yeah. I mean, it makes me want to, Pick a wedgie out of my ass looking at that. That's really know, like, how do you fight like that? <laughs> Jesus. A distraction technique. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's got to be uncomfortable. All right. We got a little Hellboy action here with, I don't know who this character is. I mm. don't know. But this is obviously a render. It looks like a render. It's a STL file. Yeah. Oh, that's how. That's cool. STL cool. get me all the time. Always come out looking like perfect pieces. And you're like, oh, this isn't actually being like mass produced. Yeah. Yeah, they That's get me with that. Real cool uh, anatomy there. Yeah. I, I like the representation. It's a great Hellboy piece. Mm -hmm. Very, the man, how tall is this thing going to be? Yeah, that's a tall base right there. Is it almost unnecessarily tall, you know? Yeah, it's mm -hmm. pretty big. You could probably cut that skull in half. Terrell says, I'm going to pre-order the Rocky Bruce Lee rooted hair and Scarface. Congrats. Oh, very nice. Cool pieces, bro. Rack it up. Nice. See you All later, right. Have a good day. Do my squat. Have a good one, man. So we got, uh, this is, is this Cammy? From probably would be my guess. From it is Tammy. Yes. Uh, Mitchell quickly says this Tony Montana Scarface looks good, but I wish they had his iconic look with the arm in the sling. Yeah. Fair. So I, I saw in Ant's uh, PCS group that some people were complaining about the expression. Yeah. The and they post real pics. Yeah, what do you think about that? You he he posted pics afterwards saying some a lot of power lifters don't show any expression, a lot of times because they're holding their breath when they when they lift something up. When I don't know if you're really necessarily supposed to hold your breath, you're supposed to breathe out. As I thought, so you don't pass out, but a lot of people do it. Hmm. So, do you think that this is fitting for lifting the weight? I I think it, or does it matter? Does I think it, it is. Matter? Uh, yeah. because she's on her way up. If she was more, like if she started her ascent to going straight up, then I could see more of a oh, kind of force look on her face. But the fact that she's there, it's more like just getting ready to lift up and like bracing yourself. So I think that fits. Okay. And then the one with Chung Lee, she had, she had like a bent bar, right? It was like bent. This one's straight. Didn't she have a bent bar? I can't remember if she did. I, I don't know. I think she did. And they got some variation colors here. Man, who took this awesome picture? What? I did. I did. <laughs> so Kevin was Top sharing all of his pictures. Uh, Kevin, I'll let you take it away. Go ahead, bud. Ah, oh, man. I've, I've got about five or six statues that have just been put on a table. At the moment, I haven't been able to photo shoot them or anything and finally set up the studio yesterday started taking some shots this one comes from a third-party vendor unlicensed but this is a, a raven just really really liked how the piece came out i thought it was a great representation maybe a little too sexualized for what i'm looking for so when a better raven comes out i'll replace it but for right now since there isn't a lot out there i like it it's it goes in with my dc line really well 
So Isn't that her I like dad? I like this piece. I just have one issue with this. That's her dad behind her that it she is. Yep. pushed up against and has her arm against. Now, I don't know how they do it in the underworld, but here that's not allowed. So <laughs> other than that, honestly, I think it's a cool piece. But when I saw that, I'm like, you know, that's her dad, right? Yep. <laughs> but this is really shiny. I like how her boots look yeah. like it's very shiny. And the stone, the stone work looks, it looks like real stone. So it's Julie. a it's a very heavy piece too. Is, is well, I mean, obviously it's not made out of stone, but it it's a solid piece. You're gonna have to have a little. You're gonna have to have a shelf that can hold some weight on this thing. Yeah, this is cool. But I thought the face came out really well. It was a good paint job. So again, this is just one of those uh, third party unlicensed runs, and I was I was pleased with the outcome of it. You got a birthmark. Uh, Deflex. I think he was talking about the cami uh, powerlifting. Yeah, what would you say? Uh, maneuver holding breath to help brace core. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I said, that makes sense. I have some buddies that uh, power lift, and when uh, I've been to the gym with them, and when I watch them do their power lift, they do the same thing. They go down, then they're straight face, and then when on their way up is where you see like their the force trying to push it out and shit. So makes sense to me. You got the arrows here in the stone. Yep. Cool piece. It is. And then this is Full Metal Alchemy, I think, right? Alchemist, yeah, yeah. This piece uh, came in. It, it's eluded me for a little while. Uh, my kids, I we love this series. Brotherhood's probably the better one if you're going to watch it. But this is Edward and Alfonso Elric. They're the two main characters. And Prime One, man, their their stuff is top notch. This came really with is. a lot of pieces yeah. that you had to put together. But the the paint job, the sculpt, that base lights up. Uh, which is really cool. His head, there's three different change outs uh, for Edward there and uh, about three different versions of his hand too. So I, I just had a lot of fun shooting this. I also shot some videos. We'll probably put them out on the channel here later in a week or so, but uh, okay. it's just, it's a cool piece altogether. It's one of the better anime series out there, I think. Yeah, looks great. Great shots. I appreciate it. What kind, what kind of camera are you using? Uh, it, Believe it or not, this one's just with my iPhone. Really? That's a that's good. Yeah, good picks, man. Having the white background and the proper yeah. lighting helps tremendously. That's I, yeah. I use a lot of soft lights and things like that, so it yeah. really it helps. Very it cool. lets you focus on the detail more. Mm -hmm. And what and is there's the, the light up? What is this symbol down here? What is that about? So the, yeah, the whole movie is around this whole alchemy. So they always make up these different symbols and stuff when they're trying to, you know, either bring things back from life, which is the whole premise of the story, or or they make, you know, weapons and other items that they use to battle with. So the stuff that's flying out of the ground there, all that wood and, or metal, stone stuff, that's usually something that they'll draw up real fast and they'll conjure for an attack. Is this his like guardian or something, or is this? Yeah, nice guy nails it. It's transmutation circle. Thank you. Oh, wow. was, uh, now, he gave us a technical losing. term. Yeah. No, cool. no, he, he nailed it. Yeah. I don't feel that, Adam. Is this a is this his guardian? No, that's his brother. So they try you know, the whole storyline is her mom passed away and they try to bring her back using alchemy, but it's equal exchange is the whole thing. And his brother lost his entire body. So before he lost his soul, uh Edward there kind of does this quick symbol on the suit and his brother's soul is trapped into that suit. Ah. So he's able to keep him alive. So that's his brother, Alfonso. And yeah, then he watching. lost his arm. Yeah. Very interesting. I'm always looking for a good anime to watch. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. It's a great series. Probably the best shredder on the market right now. It really is. I, I just have fun shooting that guy. And um, I've got uh, those who... No, um, Ant sent out, no charge for me, but uh, the sword's one with uh, the sword missing so that when you have it actually in his hand, yep. it looks right. So I'm excited about that piece. Yep. Yeah, it looks cool. One thing I wasn't sure about this piece, can you, perfect, zoom in. The eyes look weird to me. Like they look glazed over heat, like it looks, it, are they just going for a white look? Cause I, I don't I don't quite understand why it they're doing a white look like how when the turtles wear them bandana why are his eyes all white he's a it human. might be the lighting a little bit 
Okay, I is it not like that in person? Because in pictures, uh, I honestly think it looks weird. He doesn't have pupils. It looks like that, it looks not like in this version. Glaucoma in both eyes or something. You know when you see like French bulldogs and their eyes are all yeah, it's starting to get the cataracts. What they look like when you go blind? Cataracts. It's a lot more pronounced in this picture, but it's not. It's not that bad when you're not see normal it. eyes though, like human being eyes. Yeah. Okay. I'd rather I'd rather much prefer this one than this one. You know, but I like I like both of them. But I I'm just I don't know. I don't want to see his whole face. I like him with the white eyes, and I like him with the mask on. Yeah. That's just this just screams Shredder to me. Yeah, it's right. a thick piece. I mean, it ties in with the series. I'm not a fan of the eyes. Everything else aside, I think this piece looks this, awesome. This human there, Kev or uh, Adam. I this looks more eye like eye. a samurai to me when they show his face and his eyes like that. Zoom into the eye. I want to see his eye. Is it red? Yeah, it is red. That's interesting. I even like the intricacy, uh, the intricacies on the the helmet. You can kind of see there. I sent over some other shots, but you can see it a little bit on the left and just the, yeah, the little details around the wrap around the uh, helmet. I was just like, yeah. I don't so know cool. if I got. Yeah, I don't know if I got those, but yeah. You're like, nah, those those shots sucked. I'm not gonna add them here. No, I just had I've been uh, harder hit photos. <laughs> Not bad. I like. I, I really like this. Uh, was your sword a little curved? <laughs> this sounds wrong. Was your yeah, sword a little curved? It was. It was. It had a little bend to it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how else to ask that question. I know where you go. <laughs> uh, oh, but this armor, I really love the armor. You know. Yeah. I love the armor. So if anyone's still on the fence, I highly recommend this piece. I know it's been talked about. It's been out there for a while, but it's still, it's a great piece. Yep. Got your NYC, my shuttle Tidarium. So Shane has the one where the wings are folded up. I went with the one where the wings were open. So again, this was just one of those pieces. I saw Return of the Jedi in the theaters. Just loved, loved, loved the ship. Is um, your pilot in there? I've yeah. always loved the Lambda shuttle. Always. I thought it was so cool. The Empire by far has the coolest ships, I think. Oh yeah, hands down. So that ship looks sick. Very nice. It's yeah. It's so funny. I'm it's a huge ship, but it's all wing. Like the ship itself is not big, but it looks massive because of the giant wings. And really, I don't even know why that fin is in the middle. Like, what purpose does that serve flying in space? But it looks cool as fuck. But it's there, that's exactly right. Military. It's not a sailboat. You don't need it. Yeah, I like this. And then, of course, it's got the light-up feature. What I did capture in the shot is on the top of each one of the wings, there's lights that, you know, blink kind of thing, just like yeah. out of the movie. Yeah, I've so seen those. Pretty cool. Yep. yep. You're talking about, like, right at the, the tip up here? I'll send out a photo, but right now I'm working on a custom space for some of these vehicles in the collection. So give me till about midsummer, and then I can send it out. Nice. Oh, hi, Shane. Hey Shane, how's that car? It's a, lemon. <laughs> lemon. it's a Honda. It's a fucking lemon. <laughs> it blew up before I left the parking lot. All right, so we got the Rocky Balboa. We we've talked about Rocky Balboa already, but this is a uh, the fighting, the boxer version in his in his uh, shorts here with his boxing shoes mm -hmm. on. This is twenty six inches high. Mm. You got the little Balboa stand, him with the robe. Some people were complaining about the face, that the eyes were a little bit too sunken in. I think Ant did address that, and he was going to change a couple things on that, from what I understand. And uh, I'm telling you, if I ever started a statue company, but I never would, obviously, but if I ever did, I would never do life-size, like, not life-size, um, Real character, real people, like movie statues, and mm -hmm. not because I, not just because I don't collect them. Getting likenesses is so hard. It's so much easier to just nail a likeness of a comic book character <laughs> and make people happy than than this stuff. It's so hard. I wouldn't even dare touch it. Yeah. You know, he he did say he was gonna he was gonna work on this. Where where did that go? So I love Ant's work, but this this is probably my least favorite of his work. Yeah, that, I, it, it doesn't look terrible, but yeah, he's going to work on it. 
he's gonna. It work looks on. a little bit more like that Al Pacino Scarface. Yeah, it's just the eyes. The eyes are a little sunken in, but he he said he was gonna work on it. So we'll give him some time with that. And to think this guy started as a amateur porn star, and look where he is now. I know. Yep, we we all strive oh, to be porn stars. You, Adam. What's that? I said, there's hope for you. You both started out the same <laughs> amateur porn. <laughs> but Shit, I didn't think time. Sylvester Stallone did gay porn, though, right? Like, oh. he, actually, I thought he did. Oh, oh maybe. Yeah. The bills. <laughs> I thought he did. That's why I said similar with Adam. Fair enough. <laughs> for the right amount of money. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, we'll talk in July. We'll talk in July. <laughs> <laughs> the good thing is I'm bigger than you. If I can't afford you, I'll just take you. Oh, my God. <laughs> Fucking Shane. Wow. Sunday well, game you, real. Shane. I game appreciate real. you. Call SVU now. Jesus. <laughs> what? Adam backs out. I'm not going to statue gun. Yeah, I don't think I can make it anymore. This is a sexy She Hulk. Yeah. yeah love good. the pose. Wonder if Danny's going to get this sweet, sweet Danny Lee. He's a huge I love that name that you guys got for him. <laughs> he is, Danny's the sweetest guy there is. He's awesome. Now, is this a gray scale? This is the paint. They painted it this color. It, I believe this came as a, yeah, it came as a kit, I think. And they actually had it painted like this just for aesthetic look. I think it looks sick. I think it looks really sick. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. I like it. You got all the snow and the skull and everything. Looks great. Look at that face. Look at that. The way the blood is just just pops on the gray uh, of his body, it looks so good. Yeah. Wow. Who was it? I was on the uh, oh shit. Who said it? A few, few Bro, days ago. That. I was on a show, and they they said this reminds them of uh, Tropic Thunder, where he has a uh, raccoon or whatever the fuck he's got on his head there. Yeah. In Stiller. When he goes full native. Very cool piece. What scale is that? Quarter? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I believe it's a quarter scale. Yeah. So here you got an X-Men uh, statue, a beast, and what's this girl's name again? Is Kitty, Kitty right? Pride. Kitty Pride. Pride, yeah. Cool concept. It is. I, I like how she's coming out at different points of the uh, sentinel hand and wrist. That's pretty cool. Like her leg yeah. and her arm and her body. That's pretty cool. The only thing I've seen happen with these type of Kitty Pride statues is that when they do it separately, like like when they when they part her out like that, sometimes they didn't look like they like at the factory, not the renders, but the factory and the production piece that these pieces that look like they didn't line up properly. Like it was mi mix matched a little bit. Like her leg would be a little bit too far over or a little, a hair off. So they got to really get the engineering like spot on to make sure everything is lined up with the body to make it look like she's actually going through, you know, that's the only thing I would say I would be a little careful with, but do you like the beast look? Uh, the portrait's not my, not my style. I like the, the Jim Lee nineties beast portrait. Yeah. So that's not my, not my look. It's not terrible. It's just not my style of beast. I prefer. Not bad. Oh, this was somebody's collection with the masters of the universe, right? Yeah. And he, man, I thought that's it was a, pretty cool. That pretty is cool a display. really cool, like corner. Yeah. Corner. What is that? I, is that a custom? Custom what, what? shelving? Who knows, man? I mean, I don't know. Could be, or maybe it's just part of a China cabinet. He's got his props right here, too. Yeah, I love that. I love that staff. Uh, this so would sick. pull me right back in. I, I sold my Masters of the Universe kind of stuff, but golly, it's such a nice setup. This is sick. I, I love how he yeah. put the brush back there behind Skeletor. That Whose collection is this? Uh, I, some, I forget who it was. I actually did look so I could give him a shout out and I completely uh, forgot who it was. Yeah, look how deep that is. Very cool. All right. 
that's what I got for pictures. Cool stuff. Not too many, not too many big time releases this week. Uh, we had a couple things, like I said, the J and D, uh, some Blitzway stuff. Sideshow still got some stuff coming. We got the Prime One showcase coming, so we'll look forward to. I'm sure that they're, they're going to drop some cool stuff there. Hopefully, oh. and we'll talk about those. Speaking uh, about week. Adam, Friday, yeah. you want to jump on with us? I'll save you a spot. It's filling up quick. We got like three spots left for Friday. Yeah, so, save me a spot. Save me a spot. I'll, like, I'll, I'll people getting back to me, so. for whatever reason, but um, yeah, save okay, me a well, spot. I'll save you a spot, but when you know for sure, if you can't make yeah. it, let me know so I can let someone else in. Sure. Okay. Yeah, but that was that was a lot of good stuff. It was. I man, I am. I keep talking about that Terminator line. I just dream about it. I can't wait to get it. That's my that's my top line right there. That's right. gonna be the statue you're staring at. <laughs> that's gonna be the statue I'm staring at. That's gonna be cool too to have those one third scale pieces, you know, next to like the Jungle Hunter and everything. I just wish the Jungle Hunter was just a little bit like a, a little bit smaller. He's so overscaled. Their um, one quarter scale is overscaled too. The the big game hunter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's great for standalone, but when you pair him with others, it's it's a little big. Yeah, Predator is about, I think he's about like six and a half to set. Actually, he's about seven feet tall. So he shouldn't be crazy tall. I mean, he, that is crazy tall, but like when you're talking about other statues with them. But anyway. Slifer thought that was a Maja case. A very well yeah, could be. He may not be. Way. Yeah, he might be right there. Yeah, could be. I don't know. Did they, they do the corner pieces now on Maja case? I've never made. Yeah, yeah, I think I've, I've seen those. Over a year, so. You know, the only reason I don't order Maja case is because it takes as long to get it as a statue. Like yeah, well, now I think they're down to like six months or something. They used to be at like two years. Now they're down to six or eight months, I heard. What it sounds like is he just needs to order a bigger, maybe a bigger batch to get the price down, maybe. No. He's probably ordering small batches, and then they take a while to make. So, I don't know. But I feel like stuff like that, he probably doesn't want to sit on inventory is what it is. So I don't blame him. No, I get it. But I mean, yeah. Think it, about it. If you had if you had a modular setup, right, Shane? Like if you had a whole bunch of modular stuff set up and it yeah. was ready to go and you ordered it and it got to your house in a week, in a week, you would be like, you probably order it, right? You would probably it, order I, it. I, I know what you're saying for sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, like if I was inclined to get Maja Case, absolutely, that might tip the scales for me. I I don't because Maja Case is very expensive and it's an yeah. American price. And then you add the shipping to Canada and everything, dude. I'm looking at you're better off doing I'm custom. Looking at ten for my collection, I probably need ten to twenty thousand dollars of fucking Maja Case for all my statues. Yeah. No, thanks. super expensive, super <laughs> long to, to to take to actually get them. And they take, I, I I heard they take forever to put together too. Uh, I heard they're not as bad as they used to be. They used to be terrible, like for putting together. Now they made it a little simpler and I think they have like instructions or video or something. So it's not as bad now, yeah. is what someone told me. Walton says they don't just do prefab, but they also do custom dimensions. That's yeah, true. that's true. They do, I know that they do custom stuff and I get it. it. But for me, like if it was available right away, I'm a very, I can be very impulsive and I, I don't have a lot of patience when it comes to order something. When I order something, I was like, I want it right now. Now I know that does that's not the case with statues, but for like displays, I don't know if I want to wait for a display. I would rather have my display all set up and done and then wait for my statues. That way I can plan right. But I don't want to wait for my display. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, Slifer saying, and I personally like the collection to look different from other people. What was he saying here? Oh, I missed the first part. I'd rather just get creative with something cheaper because it, it takes too long. Exactly. That's yeah. exactly what I'm thinking. Yeah. You know, I can say right now, Slifer, you are mastering that. Your collection definitely looks different than anybody else's. I've Slifer, seen. your collection is so clean and so beautiful. It's crisp. Yeah, I love it. I love looking at it. And now go to hell. <laughs> and now yeah, I'm a bit better yeah. now. Yeah. Go fuck yourself for your display looking better than mine. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, Slifer's display yeah. looks awesome. Yeah, That's I a good know. point, Jane. His his I, I think he's got one of the nicest, cleanest looking displays. And it's, his shit's it. not expensive. He's nope. using yeah, a lot of look amazing stuff. Yeah. 
He's got the yeah. Gobi lights. He's got he's got the um, the IKEA furniture stuff. I think he's got a couple other yeah. things in there too. But my yeah, I think well. he's got some Alex and some Vestas or whatever. Yeah, it looks great. It looks sharp, clean. I like how clean it looks. And his when I grow, when I grow up, I want to be Slifer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> look at your collection behind you. Easy. Yeah, he's inspired um, me. John Connor says, Maja Space should copy what IKEA did with their cabinets and upscale the manufacturing. Excellent point. That's not a bad idea at all. Excellent point. Yeah. Switch it up a little bit. Start dabbling into some other styles to see what sells better. Um, Adam, maybe- I have a question. Are you going to be making like a, an 80s, 90s display case and putting your Predator and Terminators together on the same shelf or are they being separated? You What's know... The thing that I have, because I would have done a room tour a long time ago, and this is going to answer your question. Okay. I've been trying to figure out my display. I haven't really changed much, too much in the room, only because I don't. you guys probably know, if you don't know, I didn't buy another house when I moved. I sold both of my houses down south, and then I moved up here, and I got, uh, I'm renting right now because the market sucks so bad. Mm. So my point is, is that, I don't want to put all this stuff together and like put this badass display together and then I got to move again. Just move you know it in a couple years or a year or whatever. Yeah. 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 And I haven't rent. Here's the thing. I haven't rented in years, like years, years, years. So I kind right. of felt like I was taking a step back, but I just didn't want to be buried in a house because of the market. You know what I mean? So yeah, I don't know. I, I got to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm going to still, um, <laughs> I'm going to still, um, I'm still going to do something here. I just don't want to put so much time and effort to break it all down and move again. So, you yeah, have two houses. Yes, that's right. Um, but when you do put them, when you do get them, whether it's at the new one, do you plan on putting them on the same shelf or are you doing a Terminator only shelf? Or are you doing like a 90s Terminator Predator type shelf? I don't know. I don't know. I think it would look cool to put them in the same kind of category and together and display them together. I think that would look cool, but it depends because I've put stuff next to jungle hunter before and he just makes everything, everything dwarfs it. You know, that's the well, only to be fair. Maybe you'll be lucky and prime one will overscale the terminator. So they'll fit perfectly with the predator. I know. Right. Just giant be. fucking one third scales everywhere. Yeah. Hey, for you guys that are in the chat, if you can hit that like button before we get out of here. Also, remember, StatueCon is coming up. It's going to be from July 11th, I think, through the 14th. Make sure you guys, uh, if you want to go, start planning now. A lot, a lot of people are going this time. I would say it's probably doubled in the amount of people that it did before. We had a blast last time. Maybe me and the guys will do some live streaming from there. Actually, we probably will. If you guys are down for it, we'll do some live streaming from the event. Oh, I'm definitely doing live streaming. For yeah, yeah. I think, I think we should do that for sure. Uh, and then maybe maybe we'll even have some beers and just sit around and talk with everybody. Maybe. All together. Maybe. <laughs> well, I'm saying live streaming it. Live streaming yeah, the beers and, and all the talking. Yeah. It's going to uh, be good. It's going to be a fun it. time. Hopefully, hopefully a lot of people can make it. Like if yeah. you guys are on the fence and you're not sure, it's just going to be a fun time. A bunch Let's of people getting together, yeah. talking weak shit, having a few drinks, going out. It's just going to be a good, chill, relaxed few days. So come on out if you can. Yeah. The more the merrier. I, I would just love to meet some of the people. I met some people when, you know, when the channel, I mean, the channel is still really small, but when it was tiny, I mean, I, we still met some people out there and it was cool to meet people that were in the chats and stuff. So yeah, I think it's going to be a good time. Another thing is uh, Shane's got a project that he's working on. We're going to figure out a day for this. Uh, I, I can talk about this now, right, Shane? Or Hey, I, I, I don't care. I've already talked to Art and all that. And yeah, okay. we just got to arrange a date. So we plan on doing, you know, a lot of people, everybody knows our statue collector. If you haven't, go check out his channel. Great guy, lives in Thailand. He's got a, a killer, killer uh, man cave that he's got a gallery. He's got a gallery dedicated he literally to- literally built a gallery. <laughs> yep. Um, so a lot of people, I, I know people have wondered, wanted to know more about art and like, hey, what do you do for a living? And, you know, how many businesses do you have? Where did you grow up? And- you know, where do you live in Thailand now? How long you've been collecting? So we're going to actually do a special live event 
and it's going to be an interview of Art Statue Collector. And he, we're just going to ask, it's going to just be just about art. And we're going to talk about art. And we're going to talk about how he got into statue collecting. You know, those questions that everybody asks, what does he do for a living? What is the, how many businesses do you have? And all that other stuff. So I think it would be cool to know art a little bit more just past his videos. And plus, he's just a really cool guy and we like hanging out with him. So Art's uh, awesome. Shane, Shane came up with that idea. I thought it was an excellent idea. We were originally going to do... We were originally going to do just like a video and just do like us asking questions to art or actually just Shane asking questions to art. But I thought it would be a good idea to open up the form to everyone because uh, in the live chat. So we'll do a live event and everybody can kind of ask questions and, and kick it with art. And uh, yeah, I think it would be cool lifestyle. What did that say? <laughs> Lifestyle, the rich and famous, famous, famous statue collection. Collection. basically, basically, yeah. <laughs> Just so everyone yeah. knows, when we do do this, we're gonna work out a date between us and Art. It will be at 11 p.m. Yeah, late night yeah. show. Yeah. That it's is when you work at Art. That's why I was unsure if doing it live we should or not, but I'm I'm all good. I don't care either way. Art's good with it, so it'll be at 11 p.m. EST. Date to be determined. Yeah. Short, uh, very soon this week we'll come up with a date yeah let me know in the chat too do you think this is a good idea do you think it, it would be a good idea to kind of do you guys want to know more about art let me know drop a line either after we're done on the live or just drop a line in the chat but i thought it would be interesting so uh, maybe we'll continue to do stuff like that seeing how it goes but uh yeah we'll uh we'll do it and anyone who doesn't know Art, which I'm pretty sure if you're watching this channel, you know Art. <laughs> He's in the no, community. He's been on our show like a handful of times. Off your yeah. level type collector. Right? Like you, you got guys like uh, Kevin. He's like Kevin Adam. They they got good collections. Like really, Kevin's collection is massive. You know stuff like that, right? So he's kind of like on another level. You got like a Dr. Mike. He's got like money another level then you got like a mr x on a different level and then you got like art and that ronnie stark guy who are just on their own fucking level. Like, like building like, building buildings for their collection it doesn't make, them, it doesn't make them better or anything it just they have more money and they have it's, bigger and yeah. it's it's just cool so it's just art, interesting to see guy, you know what i mean he's such a good chill guy i yeah. i love art he's a great guy listen when i first met art i had no idea what i was like what he was like everything he had and uh, his gallery like I, I just saw his gallery right but then i started chatting with him and then he was just like yeah man when you come to thailand you can come hang and stay with us or whatever and uh i was like yeah that's cool man and then when i started seeing more pictures of him posting stuff online i was like holy shit what is art into so the point is it's just cool to see everybody from every walk of life um from the 10 scaled collector all the way to the life size collector let's just share what we what we got in the community and i think it'll be a good time so we'll probably and, have some beers when we do that too so i don't know if art drinks I um him. i'm sure he does i i don't know for sure but i just assume and if if any if people like this if it goes well my idea is to start doing it i know like thor did some interviews i know cash he did really good ones cash used to do interviews and he did good stuff so I, I'm not trying to like do the exact same what they did, but I'm just trying to get a few collectors that maybe haven't had their their chance to you know tell the story, get people to know them a little bit better, get them you know shit like that. So I, I got already a list of like five people that I want to ask next if this goes well. Okay, good idea, good idea. We're gonna if you guys got any ideas that the, I want to start mixing it up on the show. I don't want to just have pictures. And then talk about the same crap that all the other statue uh, channels talk about. We and it's okay. We we catch each other at different times, the different parts of the time of the week. You know, you might be able to catch one show and not catch the other show. But I think it would be fun to kind of switch it up. So if you guys got any suggestions that we might be able to mix up here on the show, shoot them my way in a private chat. And then, uh, yeah, we'll kind of go from there. Hey, let's give a quick plug since you brought up Thor's channel. Uh, Shane, you want to give that a quick plug? The, the channel? DCX channel, the Thor's oh, DCX, channel. DCX, yeah. Everyone should know Thor and the crew, Jerry, Thor, DCX, uh, Archangel, 
good set of guys watch their show uh there's so many good shows out right now like almost every day of the week you got a statue show and honestly the majority of them i'm a fan of and i like them i can't watch them all i literally don't have the time but you know i'll be cleaning up the garage doing yard work whatever driving and i just have it playing in the background i've, I've been doing that for like the last couple of years but fucking walton <laughs> <clears throat> Hey, nice guy. That's uh, that's my backyard. I'll actually be exhibiting. So if you're out at the Dallas Fan Expo, swing by the uh, Astro Mech booth. My R2 will be out there, and I'll be walking around the floor. I'd love to say hi to you, man. Nice. When is that? When is that exactly? Uh, that's uh, later June, early June, early June, I think. What do, what do they show at that Fan Expo? Is it just... Um... Uh, you don't get a lot of the statue, but you know you get all the actors and things like that come out. It's a lot of comic book and anime and stuff like that, so it's it's a huge convention. Okay. All right. Well, that's it, guys. I, I hope you enjoyed the show today. We'll. Uh, I just want to uh, say something to Walton here. He goes, yeah. Shane riding the coattail, <laughs> Vader's yeah, coattail. Yeah, First yeah. of all, if you're going to ride someone's coattails, that's a pretty good one. Second of all, I don't ride anyone's coattails. Third. You're riding Kesis's coattails by pretending to be the face of hate. And we all know no, Kesis no. oh, is shit. twice the hater you are, Walton. <laughs> Walton, are you going to are you going to uh, StatueCon? We'd like to see you there too. No, man. no, no. It's right. been uh, Marco's bandom, actually. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, have a good weekend. I hope to see you all at StatueCon, and uh, yep. that's all I got. Thanks for joining us here on the collector's table where every collector has a seat. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, everyone. And where's my outro music? There it is.